Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creep Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got a couple of the coaches here from Homerville. Got the head ball coach, Coach Don Tyson, and offensive line he coaches everything. <laughs> Played ball here. Langston Hendricks also does a good job. I'm sure, doesn't he, Coach? He does. Man, uh, Panthers. We had a scrimmage game a couple of weeks ago against a tough opponent, and man, we looked good in the scrimmage game coach Tyson but man Friday night we looked real good how how do you call it man it just uh well Pierce was a really good team mm -hmm. man they were you know they're always good and they've got a pile of players and I think a lot of it's got to do with us just being used to playing a full game you know just getting a little better in shape even though we was about wore out Friday night you know we're just playing so many kids but man just you know you get some good film to watch and uh that's the big thing, too, man. You just get some game film. You can bring them in. You can show them the film. You can see where you're That's right. messed up at. And then you got kids that you kind of move around. Um, when you're having to play a lot of guys with guys getting cramps and stuff, you kind of figure out some other guys that can play here and play there. So the depth gets a little better. You know, those guys that hadn't played at all, that's getting thrown in the fire, you know, now they're getting more reps at practice. And, you know, you're just overall getting better as a team. Man, uh, another question is before we get into Friday night's game is this heat wave. How do I mean? How are y'all doing that? Man, it felt good out there today. <laughs> it was a breeze. It probably wasn't, but ninety-seven. Gosh, well, I don't know how you do it. Me and Daniel got there Friday at four thirty, setting up for Friday's game, and whoa, we were dead for seven o'clock. Well, honestly, we've been practicing all summer, mm -hmm. you know, and and you just kind of get used to it. But man, it you know sometimes it's so hot that you. You, it's unbearable almost. That's right. Uh, Friday night, it was so it was like a, a steam oven. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, but we work hard and we've been going all summer and we've been fighting mm -hmm. through the heat and just mm -hmm. we hadn't been avoiding it. You know, so uh, and whatever you're doing, you're doing good. We don't. I think we had one or two maybe cramp in two games. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. But man, uh, you know, we don't have used to. Man, I, I would hear kids. Man, it's hot. You know, it's hot and. We don't have – I don't hear that out mm -hmm. there because they're used to it and they just practice. They know we're going to practice through it. That's and they, right. They tough yeah, that's it out. right. <laughs> but, man, we might not be cramping, but now we got some kids, they get tired. That's you know, right. they get real tired. And uh, so we've just got to keep on running. We just – boy, we just ran, ran them to death a while ago. Hey, we <laughs> hey, we conditioned really hard today. Keep plenty of water and fluid in them and keep going. Yep, that's right. And, I mean, that's the only way to get better. Well, man, tell us a little bit about the coach over here we're fitting to talk to, Langston, man. He do a good job for oh, you, Oh, yeah, he does. Man, it really showed uh, this summer, man, because coaching, a lot of people think coaching is just, you know, what you see on Friday night. Mm -hmm. You know, you're down there, you're calling a play, or, you, you know, you, you're down on the sideline coaching. You know, most people think that that's coaching. But, man, that's about 10% of it, mm -hmm. you know, like – picking kids up to that's get right. them to practice you know how it is that's right you know washing clothes like at camp when we went to camp and you know we're up all hours of the night and we're having to get up at 4 30 in the morning to cook breakfast you know mm -hmm. langston he was the he was my big he was the right hand man like he was up with me and uh i don't think we slept for five days straight <laughs> at camp but man just stuff like that that's what is so important to a program because if nobody does that kind of stuff, the program ain't going to run. That's right. That's um, right. And then on top of that, he is a very good coach. Um, X's and O's. He pushes the kids. You know, he knows how to talk to them. That's right. He knows when to push them, and he knows when to love them. That's right. You know, so he's doing a good job. Man, you are. And one thing I get excited about, you get excited on the <laughs> sideline. You know, and we got a good balance. So, you know, you got some coaches – Back in the day when Coach Dixon coached, you, you know, we had to have some calm coaches because right. he was one. He wasn't going to be calm. So we have a good offset of coaches that, that get, mm -hmm. you know, real fired up. You're one of them, and you get in their face. And, uh, man, tell us some of the things you like about being a coach here at Clinch County. Man, just the tradition, man. You know, playing here, mm -hmm. winning program, you know, the expectations are high. So I feel like you got to go out there and bust your tail every day. So. Now, when you come through school, what was y'all's record, Langston? Uh, uh, I think uh, we was like 47 and 6. What did you do, win two titles? Well, three. Three, three titles. Yeah. Three titles. Well, Coach, yeah, Tyson, that's a good thing. <laughs> you got him on the sideline. That's yeah. a good luck charm anyway. Yeah, <laughs> need to keep, keep Which, them around. We had a couple of – we had a Tresman on that team yeah. too and <laughs> yeah. a, a couple of more on that team. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Hey, but, man, you're doing a great job. And what do you coach? Like, the offensive line, uh, help Coach Roland, Coach Winston with the D-line and 
try to help Coach Brady with special teams. That's so. right. Well, okay. Coach Tyson, name all your coaches. If some of the fans, because we get up there a lot of times in the game, we get excited, me and Brent, and mm-hmm. we forget to name all of them. So, uh, well, you got Dalton Weatherington. He's the offense coordinator, mm-hmm. and he does a good job. Uh, Jeff Brady, he is the first assistant on offense. He mainly works with the quarterbacks and the wide receivers, skill guys. Mm-hmm. Coach Langston here, he's the offensive line coach. Uh, Winston Peterson's the defense coordinator. He's a long time, long time defense coordinator. Yeah. He's been here for a long time. Chase Daniels, his first assistant, he's mainly over the secondary and he, he deals with the outside linebackers a lot. Uh, Andrew Rowland, he's uh, the defensive line coach. And then you have A.C. Cooper, who helps out almost everywhere. That's right. He's kind of like a man. You could plug him anywhere. That's right. That's you right. You know, if you've got a kid over here who's having a bad day, AC's a good one to send yeah, over there to talk to him. And then, you know, if somebody needs some different type of motivation, you know, he's he's a very – you could put him anywhere. That's right. And, That's uh, right. And it's great having him because of the rec park, having That's a right. connection with the rec park. That's right. So he does a great job. Uh, Tadpole. You know, he's helping with the middle school, and he mm-hmm. also helps with varsity. He's the middle school defense coordinator. Drake Browning, he's the head middle school coach, and mm-hmm. he also helps us with equipment and stuff like that, and he helps out chart plays and stuff on Friday night. And then uh, James Edwards is a, a newly a, a new hire this good year. Good coach. Yeah, man, he coached coach. middle school basketball and did a good job. And uh, we had a spot come open on the staff, and, um, you know, I watched him because my son played middle school basketball. That's right. And I just, you know, he, he was good with the kids and pushed them, and, you know, it seemed like he was doing a good job, so he's uh, – He's helping middle school as well. He's Man, good. that's good. Sounds like we got a good group. Oh, it's real good staff. Man, real good that's, staff. That's good. We're going to take our first break. Hear a word from our sponsors. We're going to come back and talk about this week's opponent, which is Macon County. We'll be right back. The certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive in Oakroft. Get the best deal from Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. 
We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Creepbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got Langston Hendricks, one of the football coaches, and the head ball coach, Coach Don Tyson, with us this evening, talking about the Panthers' big, exciting win over Berrien County, a 35 to 14 thrashing. A lot better last year. It took two days, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. two days and about five inches of rain to beat them, but uh, Panthers took care of business. Uh, now this week. You go away and you face a team like Berrien County that averaged 300 pounds across the line and had 80 kids. And now we're playing a team in Macon County, and they're ranked number nine. And this is one of the games of the week in Class A. The other one is, uh, I was looking, is Sly County and Early County. That's number one and number five. Clinch County is number four, and Macon County is number nine. So there's two games with two top ten teams. Uh, what's the difference in Berrien County and Macon County? Well, How do you prepare? You go from Berrien County to Macon County now. Well, against Berrien, we were just ready to load the box, you know, with our linebackers and everybody else. We tightened everything up and because uh, we knew they were going to just run it right at us because they were very big up front mm -hmm. and uh, had a very good back back there with uh, Josiah Davis. Mm -hmm. um, but now Macon is almost the opposite of that. You know, they've got some guys all over the field that can fly. Stretch it from one side to the other. They've got they've got two or three guys on there that can natural born fly. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, now we've got to kind of widen out a little bit, and we've got to figure out, you know, how we can cover them, you mm -hmm. know, and then at the same time, how can we bring some pressure and get some pressure on the quarterback. There's a balance, you know, of a good team, you know, running the spread with a lot of fast guys. You know, if you, if you blitz a lot and they catch you in it, you know, yeah, it's a big play, you know, right. so there's going to be a balance there. We've got some stuff that we think we can do, you know, to maybe get some pressure on the quarterback and some different things that we're doing in the secondary to try to, you know, give us a little bit of help right there. So, uh, but man, they're, they're an explosive team. They're, they're well coached and, and, and they're sort of like us, man. They, they play football up there. Yeah. You know, they, it ain't, you know, just a bunch of guys that are fast. Like they, Macon County is a, a program that's, you know, it's got some tradition. You know, well, last year was the first time we've ever beaten them. We're one and seven against them. We mm -hmm. uh, still won twenty four to twenty last year. And uh, man, what would you say with their strength? Would it be offense or defense? Man, I well, I would say offense because of you know the it's Speed. just kind of scary. Yeah. You know, you watch them on film and they're just kind of scary the way that you know they're so fast. But then you look and in the scrimmage game in the first game of the season, they ain't nobody scored on them yet. Mm -hmm. So their defense is good yeah. too. Yeah, that's, you know they. That's right. You know, um, you know they beat Lanier twenty-four to nothing, and Lanier is a pretty good little football right. team. Mm -hmm. So they shut them out in the scrimmage, and then they played Whitfield Academy, who's not a bad football team as well, mm -hmm. and they shut them out. Um, I think it was twenty-eight to nothing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we feel like we can. We feel like we can move the ball on them, and we mm -hmm. feel like we can score on them. But uh, they're a pretty balanced team. I wouldn't say they were lopsided one way or the other. You know, they're, they're good on both sides of the ball. They're going to have the same numbers that we have, kind of, mm -hmm. and yeah. players. Yeah. It's not going to be a big advantage like we've seen for the last yeah. couple of weeks. Right. Uh, Langston, you're coaching offensive line. I mean, you've watched film. You feel pretty comfortable with the linemen. Oh, yeah, I feel Simons. good. I mean, the offense, you know, overall, we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. No, I wanna, nothing changes. I, I, and I got to brag on that. I'm sorry to interrupt <laughs> you, man, but we <clears> – <throat> In the history of Clinch County, we'd go on two and we'd always jump. Friday <laughs> night, man, I don't think we had a false start, a holding call. Mm -hmm. That's the first time in forever I thought yeah. the offensive line had a perfect game Friday night. I mean, they did. They, they Y'all did a great job up front. And it just shows the discipline when you can sit there. And we went three times and that got us three first downs. Mm -hmm. And that was huge. Yeah. Uh, and we're going back and we're going to talk about the goal line stand one more time before we talk about Macon County. They had it right there, could cut it 14 to 7 for, you know, right before half. And that they got momentum going into mm -hmm. halftime. Uh, man, that was huge. I it mean, was. Coach, did y'all just tell them, hey, look, you got to hunker down one more time. We got to keep them out. I mean, yeah. 
able to? Well, you know, at practice, you know, when we go over goal line defense, mm -hmm. I'll set the ball on the one inch line. Mm -hmm. I'll put it, I'll set it as close to the goal line as you can put it, and they cannot score. So it ain't like it was neutral. No, no. Yeah, that's right. No, it wasn't the scout team we was going against. <laughs> no, that's right. That's but, it's, right. but we have been, we have put them in that situation before. That's right. That's and right. And I, I truly feel like they believed that they could stop it. You know, and and that's just man the D line, D line when they bow their back now that D line is pretty dang tough. Man, mm -hmm. we we stopped them and it worked out perfect. We got the ball to start the third quarter. Went down there and went up twenty one nothing. Yep. You know, and that pretty much. You, I mean, we wasn't for sure we had it, but I mean, it the weight was lifted off of you like you could relax a little bit. That's right. But uh, you know, this week you're not going to feel relaxed because they have the speed and the talent to score every time they, mm -hmm. they get in the ball. Yeah. I was looking over some of the stats. Their quarterback, which his name is Brian Harris, he was 11 of 13 for 178 yards. Pretty good Friday night in Class A. And then the Tyler Fielder, the Russian, the running back, he rushed for 100 yards and had 60 yards receiving. And it's so hard. I know back in the day, Coach Dixon would say, man, it's always hard to cover a back out of the backfield, mm -hmm. you know. But now back then we run a 50. So, I mean, <laughs> everybody was man to man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you forgot to cover your man, he was always wide open. But, uh, you know, that's got to, got to be some scary. You, you look at that and you say, hey, you know, we got, we got to get the ball, take care of our business, drive. And is that kind of what you'd like to do with just four, mm -hmm. five, four, five? Yeah. There's nothing more humiliating than somebody driving 90 yards. Yeah, we want to we want to hold the ball as long as we can That's on right. offense, keep their offense off the field. You know, I love to see a big, long 50-yard touchdown pass, but man, when you take a 15 play. 80-yard drive, that's that's a butt whooping. Yeah. You, you whooping them up front, They, you know, what do you do? You just yeah. can't do nothing. And that's football right there, man. That's if right. If you can drive the ball down the field, that's just – it. You know, it, you know, you could bust a play and score having a long run, but, man, there's nothing prettier to me than a long that's drive right. where it's just, right. just methodically <laughs> moving it down the field. Well, we had some big-time players last week for us. Of course, Bale, uh, he had four touchdowns, a 62-yard punt return, and – he just scored about every way you could think of. Who else? We got players of the week this week. We're fixing to bring them on and talk to them, Coach. Uh, who we got? Man, uh, on defense, we've got R.J. Gloucester. R.J. He Gloucester. plays corner for us. He can also play safety. Uh, he had 11 tackles. Man, he, he did. He was on a lot of them. Now. He led the team in tackles. He's a he's a good kid, too, man. Mm -hmm. He's a work a workhorse. He works hard. And uh, so R.J. Gloucester and then um, – Nick Miranda. Nick Miranda. He plays guard for us. He had a good game. And uh, we felt like, you know, our offensive line really played really well. Oh, so we uh, – and all of them played well. Um, mm -hmm. We just feel like Nick personally might have had his best game. That's right. You know, that he's, right. that he's had. He's a young player. So we felt like he deserved a shout-out and get the player of the week. That's right. So we're, we're proud of both of them. Well, man, we appreciate you all taking the time. I know you give out. It's just Monday <laughs> – and you got three more days to get ready on a long, what is that, about a two-hour bus ride we got Friday? Yeah, about two and a half. So, uh, and then it don't get no easier the next Friday. <laughs> got to go to Alabama. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh, we'll be up there waiting on y'all. I think me and Daniel are going to strike out about 2 o'clock. So, uh, we'll yeah. be waiting on y'all. But thank y'all for coming in, being a part of Creek Box. God bless you. Doing a good job, son. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see you next week, Coach. Right, thank you. Thank you. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. 
This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the D. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, and we have the Players of the Week this week, no doubt about it. They're two of the finest. Mr. R.J. Gloucester, number one, all over the field Friday night. Man, you had a big game on defense. I think Coach Tyson said you had 11 tackles. I think you might have had more when we were up there doing the game. You had a lot. And big number 55, Nick Medina. Miranda. Miranda? Miranda. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> That's fine. That Medina sounded better than Miranda. Should have kept it. <laughs> but, man, you're doing a great job. Offensive line, y'all had a great game. Didn't jump off sides. We caught them three times asleep and went on two. And I told Coach Tyson that's never happened in the history of Clinch County. You know, not if we went on side, if we went on two, three times, we would have went off side twice back in the day. So, uh, man, offensive line's looking very good. Uh I got y'all in here to recognize you, of course, and uh, ask you a few quest uh, questions. RJ, we're going to start with you, man. Uh, you are, what, a senior this year? Yes, sir. And you also play basketball. Yes, sir. Deadly three-point shooter. I got covered in basketball, so I know RJ pretty good. RJ, uh, man, uh, let's find out what you like. Man, what's your favorite food, brother? I like macaroni and cheese. Man, macaroni <laughs> and cheese. You can't go wrong with mac. The Easy Mac, the kind you pour in there and put it in the microwave, mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty good. With Roman noodles, too. You like them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, who's your favorite college team? Basketball or football? Basketball. Bucks. The Bucks. Well, college, um... I don't watch college. I just watch NFL, I mean, uh, NBA. The NBA? Yeah. All right, what's like your Bucks. college football team? Uh, Alabama. Alabama, yeah. roll tide. Boy, you've been listening to Chase Daniels out there, haven't you? Yep. Huh? Uh, and, of course, your NFL team, too. Um, like Steelers. Come on, the Steelers. Dad. Yeah. Yeah. I'd Steelers was bad back in the day now. Back in the day. All right, Nick, we're going to come to you now. What's your favorite food? Food? Some instant ramen noodles. There you go, mm -hmm. man. There you go. You're a, that's, you can't go wrong with that. Okay. Who's uh? Who's your favorite team? College. College. The Bulldogs. The UGA. Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. UGA. Mm -hmm. 
knew you was going to say that. <laughs> how about how about pro football? Pro? Say the 49ers. The 49ers, yeah. They could be in the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, they, they really could. Uh, um, all right, we're going to stay right here with you, man. What's right. one thing you love about Clinch County football? Let's see. I never thought about it. Uh, the brotherhood of everybody getting yes, together. The brotherhood. You know, it's, it's just like a, a big gang, like a club. Mm -hmm. No, I just, uh, they're just my brothers. That's they're right. That's right. Man, if you practice every day, <laughs> uh, you know, y'all started practice back when July? February. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's why you practice like that, you're going you're gonna to learn to love one another. Mm -hmm. What's uh, one of the funnest things at practice you enjoy every day? The hit. The hit. Yeah. What's the worst part of practice? Conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all don't ever, Coach Tyson don't ever say, man, I tell you what, we had a good practice. We're not going to condition today. There, there's times. There's times? There's times. Man. All right. Well, that's got to give you an incentive to, to work hard then, yeah. man. RJ, what's one of the best things you like about being a Panther football player? Probably the excitement and, like, the um, fun. Just my brother's. That's right, man, and the whole town gets involved, you know, homecoming, just Friday night lights. That was a good crowd Friday night, good crowd. Hope to be a good crowd this Friday when we go up to Macon. Uh, what's one of the best things you like about practice? Uh, we hit. You like to hit? That's, yeah. man, that's a sign of a good team. Everybody likes to hit. What's the worst, the least thing you like about it? Probably the running to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to come back to you, Nick. All right. Not that you don't like all the coaches, but if you had to be trapped on a boat with one coach, who's your favorite coach? I'd have to say Coach Langston. Coach Langston, I hear. He's younger, more than I'd, RJ. Who's, who's, who's going to be in the boat with you? Um, probably Coach Braddy. Coach oh, Braddy, man, that's good. That's good. That means we got the, everybody gets along. Got Everybody loved each and different coach, man, but uh, – Y'all two young men are doing a great job. Keep it up. I'm sure I'll have y'all back back on here before the season's over to talk to y'all. Nick, you do a great job. Number 55, y'all watching Friday. And R.J. Gloucester, number one. We'll be back after these message. Go Panthers. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creep Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my buddy Jamie Hendricks in here. We're going to talk about a little bit more football before we get out of here. We've had a great show with Coach Tyson and Coach Langston. Had RJ and Nick here for the Panthers, number 55 and number one. Uh, Jamie, we'll talk a little bit about the top 10. We had a little bit of change, not yeah. much. The Panthers fail one, even though they won. But That's the right. reason why the number one team got beat, Bowden. Yeah. So, uh. You know, Sly County took over the number one spot. They beat Tattnall Square 61 to 20. I don't yeah. even know who Tattnall Square is. I don't know either. <laughs> but Manchester must be back. They're the one that clipped Bowden 21 to 20. Yeah. So, uh, and Bowden's three, Clinch County's at four, Early County's at five, Johnson County at six, McIntosh is at seven, 
Uh, Aquinas is at eight. Macon County is number nine. They beat Whitfield Academy, and Whitfield's yeah. always pretty decent. They're competitive. Yeah. Uh, and then Telfair County, and Telfair and Lanier play this Friday night. That's going to be a good game. That should be That's a good game. That's going to be a real – I think is that game in Lanier, I think. I think it's in Lakeland. Yeah, because Lakeland went last week to uh, – who did they play last week? They, got they went and beat Bacon. Oh, Bacon, yeah. They went and beat Bacon. Bacon, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The games of the week this week, according to some of sports.net, something on Facebook, yeah. is, uh, of course, number one Sly County versus number five Early County. Who you like in that game? Whew. I, I don't have a clue. It's going to be a toss-up. You know, I was looking at the stats from Sly County's Friday night win, 61-20. to 20. They had, like, 300 yards passing and 300 yards rushing. Yeah, they're very balanced. <laughs> they got running backs. They got quarterbacks. They got one of the best receivers in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, but Sly is like Clinch County and the Macon Counties. They don't have many numbers. Mm -hmm. They're one of the smallest schools playing high school football in the state of Georgia. That's right. So they don't have no numbers. And early, who petitioned the GHSA yeah. to play in Class A for travel reasons, Man, they got all the kids in the world. Yeah. They can two platoon Sly if they can keep it close. Mm -hmm. They might can pull one out late That's right. and shock That's everybody. Right. That's you right. You know, them and Miller had a pretty good game Friday night, and mm -hmm. they was able to beat Miller. So, yeah, by a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think it's going to be a real good game. And then, of course, the other top ten matchup is Clinch County at Macon County. Yeah. And that's going to be a real test. I think that's Ooh. two teams about as even. Man, as they, you can be. We beat them last year, twenty-four to twenty, for the first time ever. Yeah, We're one and seven against them. That's right, and we've never beat them in Macon County. No, I didn't think about that. We have, right. we have never beat them in Macon County. Uh, I don't know what it is about going up there. We just don't play good. Yeah. And man, they have got deer all over the field. They're lightning fast, and <laughs> when you watch film on them, you are like, wow, you know. And at the OTAs and lounge, we went and watched them, and when we was over there, mm -hmm. their receivers is just like lightning you know we got jeremy bell who i think is one of the best players in the state that's of georgia right. and that's you look right. you turn on film you look at macon and they got three or four of them you know <laughs> that's scary uh one thing i think we do got the advantage is is man our line of scrimmage is pretty good mm -hmm. and that if they're lacking somewhere it's there i tell you that i was telling coach tyson that's the best improvement from one game to the next we had we went on two three times converted Three first downs, yeah. no penalties on the no. offensive line. Uh, I told Langston, man, that he's doing a great job with that O-line. And uh, uh, we keep doing that. I mean, the, the Panthers keep on ticking right along. What time you got to leave Friday to get to the game? Well, you know me. Me and Bill's going to leave about dinner, you know. We're going to eat lunch somewhere on where the road. Where going to stop at now? You know where all the back door <laughs> restaurants are. Man, I've had – I cannot think of the name of the restaurant. The guy texted me the other day, and it's an Amish restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Daniel and Barry and, and David Lee went up there yeah, and that thing. Yeah, I've Boy, heard of He said, you got to eat there. good. That's what I heard. So, <laughs> we thinking about eating there. I, so, yeah. it ain't going to be no McDonald's, I promise no, you. No, You get McDonald's. On, Bill has to hit McDonald's on the way home. We always hit McDonald's on the way <laughs> back right. and get a couple of them McDoubles, you know. Well, Jamie, before we get out of here, we need to recognize anybody before we get out, bud. Yeah, man. We, we've, you know, Coach Tyson and, and uh, John Andros and – Adam Toll and all getting this touchdown club going and man a lot of people jumped on board. Uh, we had Walker Jones last week come on, that was a real big one. Uh, Bill and Ava with Pop Pops Bees, they doing players of the week. Mm -hmm. And uh their player of the week this week was, was Jeremy Bell. That's right. And uh Bill's doing stuff for the players. Mm -hmm. uh, another one we wanna thank again and I keep saying it, but Man, they stepped up again today it was Alex and Kathy That's Cornelius, right. Cornelius Farms. Uh, not only did they buy a sign to go up on the fence, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that, that was a big purchase there. But they have stepped forward, and they're going to feed the team on every away game. Man, good people. And you talk about that's a lot of money. Oh, yeah. And, uh, man, you just you just got to thank people like that. That's right. And, you know, another one I know we've taken up a lot of time, but people that's just coming to me directly – you know, more farms again. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Hey, whatever y'all need, we're here. T. You J. Know, do a T. Good J. Job. Barbara, Barbara, Tim. Yeah. You know, Ryan and Erica and Tiffany. We get. We man, we're we thankful. We got these people that stepping forward. That's and help. right. 
and that, that's everybody around. Big Daddy's right here just by letting us do this and, mm-hmm. and doing Players of the Week. We got to have community support like that. And it's starting to show, and we're trying to turn things around. That's right. And we just need more people to jump on board and help out. That's right. And I want to remind everybody, if you, you know, we need everybody to travel up to Montezuma and pack the stand if you can't make it. Swing right up here at Big Daddy's. You catch it on one of yeah. these six TVs up here yeah, Friday. I'm glad you brought that up. They said they're going to have it on every TV in here Friday night. Be looking at their Facebook page. They're going to have a special for Friday night uh, for the game. Mm-hmm. So we need to, if you can't make it to the game, come up here and watch it on there Creek Balls. There you go. There you and, go. Uh, before we cut out of here, I got one more thing. The raffle tickets for the get the giveaway for the. All right, everybody, welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy Brent James in here with me. We got Chowderhead. I know he's watching. He does send a text in, Brent. We are live here in Montezuma, Georgia, Macon County. Brent. Macon County. And uh, I don't know who has the. Uh, I'll turn yours down a little bit. Yeah. Is that good there? Yeah. We just come on. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Brent will catch up. We got already. And we got about 1,200 people watching right now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We're fixing to bring you some top 10 football. The Panthers come in rank number eight, Macon County, rank number nine. Good match up here tonight. Uh, we watched them warm up. Macon County's got some athletes sure now, Brent. Uh, it is finally cooling off just a little bit, but it is hot. Macon County started out the year last week with a win against Whitfield. Whitfield Academy, the number four Class A, division the one. upper division, yeah. Division One ranked team, and uh, beat them 28 to nothing. Panthers coming off a 35 to 14 win over Berrien County. You remember last year, Clinch uh, beat Macon for the first time ever. That's right. In- Homerville, 24 to 20 was the score. 24 to 20. They have never won here. They're 0 and 7. Or 0 and 6. They're 0 and 1 in Statesboro. That's right. 0 and 6 here in Montezuma. There been some fine teams. They won state title in 81. <clears throat> That's the year they beat the Panthers 13 to nothing over here. They won a state title in 96 and 2016. That's right. Uh, they're the one that kept the Panthers from winning four in a row. And you know, they played McIntosh that year. That's right. In the dome, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. McIntosh upset the Panthers in Homerville. Got Marvin Page tuning in, so let's go red. Yes, sir. Storm need, spotter. He's staying busy. Boy, as they said, it's flooding in Homerville. Yeah. Charlotte Jackson says, let's go, Panthers. Alice Taylor watching from Brook Woods. Let's go, Bale. Benny White, roll red roll. All right, Bale, man, if he'll just have half a game as he had last week, oh, Panthers will be all right, Brent. I imagine they'll – Macon's game plan probably will be to try and stop him this week. Yes, sir. All right. Joshua going to kick a high kick over here. Fair, Fair catch. catch. What number is that? 14, Brent. That's right. That would be uh, Marco Aiken. Senior outside linebacker. So, Macon County, the Bulldogs will have first and 10 at their own. Where are they going to put it down at? Thirty-three yard line. It looks like it's gonna be hard to get these numbers, Brent. Yep. Um, number seven's in the backfield. I see that. Who's at quarterback? Is that number six or number five? Six. Felder. Felder. Number seven. No, Felder's the running back. Ooh, hard man. run up the middle. Good job. Good Good blocking. It's Felder, 5'9", 175, senior. They're back to the line real quick. Yeah, they go no huddle. Harris at quarterback, empty set now. No, Harris is back in. He run over to the sideline to get the play. 
There's the snap, same play. He's oh, gonna hand it off, nothing going there. Nothing at all, good job of that Panther defense. Who's that? Uh, number, number five for the Panthers, getting up off there. That's Blaze Small. Small. Linebacker filling the hole quick. Big third down, third and three now for the Bulldogs. Four wide. There's the snap. Oh, he's got. Gabe's got room. Oh, Randy's got, got the first down. He's going to turn the corner and out of bounds at their own 48 yard line. That's Brian Harris Jr., six foot, 175 senior. Good looking athlete, quarterback. Panthers may have to put a spy on him the way yeah. that scramble looked. Had a pretty good rush. He just yeah. read it and got outside. All right, Bulldogs break the huddle spread formation. Running back to the left of Harris. He's going to take it. Here comes the Jet, Brent. Number four. Oh, Bryant got in. That's Tyler Stevens on the carry. He'll pick up, num he'll pick up six yards. Got around that end right there. And he did. Fortunately, Bryant was able to come up and make the tackle. Harris back at quarterback now. Spread formation, three receivers to the top. There's the snap. Going to give it back to number six. He's going to pick up a couple. Fielder again on the carry. 24 in for the Panthers. That's Shane Burns. Burns on the stop. Freshman, Freshman linebacker. That's right. And it looks like we kind of got our defensive ends spread out there trying to yeah, keep them keep contained. Them from going yeah. wide on us. They're spreading the field good with them receivers. Mm -hmm. All right, third and three. Uh -oh. oh, there's a automatic first down. Panthers, Alvin Green will jump off sides. That'll be the first and ten now. That'll move it down to the Panther 41-yard line. Coach Winston getting in the defensive call. We're just underway here in the first quarter. Sun starting to go down behind the pine trees. Harris with the snap. He's going to hand it a little counter oh, back this way. Good job. What's going on there? Host the Panthers on the stop there. Number five, number three. It's Patterson. 5'9", senior running back from Macon County. All right, Alan, we've got Whitney Merriweather, Let's Go Panthers. Chanel Prester, Priester watching with Johnny. P. John says, let's go, Panthers. Quarterback. There's another keep, quarterback. Keep That's Harris again, Brent. Kind of tripped up going across 35. I think they got him right on the 35, his knee hit. Another third and four this time. Tell you what, that line's pretty big. They got two up front. Harris back in at quarterback. He's got fielder to the left of him. Oh, oh he's going to put it on the dirt. Oh. There you go. Panthers all over him. Number 24 in the backfield. That was Burns. It's going to bring him back to fourth and 10. Let's see, Brent. They, they might go for it. Or yeah. Go for it here. They're talking to their coaches. I think they're going to take a timeout. Maybe. They are. They'll take a timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. The certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive in Oakcroft. Get the best deal from Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful... 
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy Brent James in here. Brent, I don't think they're going to pump, brother. Nope. Looks like they're going for it. Man, the middle of the field looks open behind the linebackers, Alan. I'm t it's wide open. You are right. I was looking at that, too. Harris has got to see it. A little slant down here would be wide open, Ooh, wouldn't it, brother? Better. Maybe they don't better see make that. The tackle. Panthers getting ready to come right here. Harris at quarterback. Gonna take the snap. He drops straight back, looking, looking. He's going gonna deep. throw it. He going, got him open. out there. He's wide open. Got it. Great throw and catch down to the ten yard line. He had to wait on it. He was yeah. wide open, wide Brent. Open. I could have easily been a touchdown. That was fourth and ten, folks. Uh, I don't think wow. they like to punt too much, <laughs> Brent. They took a gamble and it paid off. It's just inside, so we're going to call it first and goal. Harris at quarterback. He's going to give it to Fielder up the middle, Touchdown. right up the middle. Touchdown, Macon County. They took it down about eight plays, wasn't it, Brent? Six to nothing, Macon County on top, drawing first blood on the Panthers. We got, who is that going to try it? Number 87 for the Bulldogs, Josh Gutierrez. Gutierrez. I'm going to take your word on that, Brent. He's hitting it pretty good during warm-ups. Uh-oh. Bad happened. snap. I think he cooked it. Was there a penalty? I know, but he got hit pretty, pretty hard there. <laughs> Yeah, illegal procedure, that'll back them up. Can you decline that? I would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Apparently, you can't because we're not going to. They're going to try it again. Must look like the snapper didn't snap it. Yep. At the right time. So they'll back him up five yards and try it again. So he'll be kicking from the 15. This will be a 25-yard extra point. He was kicking it pretty good in warm-ups. Waiting on the snap. There it is. Low oh, snap. Low. They got it up. He got it off and made it. I don't know how he got it through all them Panthers, but he did. That'll make it seven to nothing here in the first quarter. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hamm, my buddy Brent James. We are live from Montezuma, Georgia. Macon County leading seven to nothing. Eight oh four to play in the first, Brent. Yeah, the Panthers need to get the ball here and have a good drive. Try to get some points on the board. Answer uh, Macon's. Yeah, Macon opening drive score. Yeah, about eight to ten plays. Panthers need the same thing here. Bale back deep for the Panthers. Let's see if he's gonna kick it deep, and he does. A booming kick all the way back to the end zone. You ain't got to worry about a run back there, Brent. Not when I you put it in the end zone. Leg. <laughs> You're right, brother. He put it about three yards deep in the end zone. So the Panthers will take over on their own 25-yard line. Marvin Pace said that was too easy, Adam. Yeah, I agree with you, brother. Nope. Nessie Collins says, let's go Panthers from Lakeland. L.A. Y'all keep us updated with some scores around the area. Swamp Acid is watching from Griffin, Georgia. Roll Red Roll. <laughs> All right. They watched the other day. 
All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. There's the snap. Right up the middle. That's Byron, Bryant. Byron. Look out. Oh, he's man. still on his feet. He's good run there. Good run. 11, 12 yards. And Octavius Johnson says, so let's go, Panthers. All right, Brent, move your foot right there. There we go. Yeah, I got to stand up. Stand in front of that fan. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling up one britch's leg and down the other. Good first down play by the Panthers. Hard running in there by Bryant. It was. Looks like the Panthers going no huddle too, Brent. Bryant at quarterback. Panthers have a wing to the left. Two receivers bail to the bottom. There's a snap. Here comes the little counter back this way. Good defense there by Macon County. That's number six for the Panthers. That's blank on the carry. He'll pick up a yard. Defensive end slowed him up just enough to, for the linebacker to get over there and make the play. Looked like they had an opening there for a second. Bryant comes out. Green comes in for the Panthers. Boy, that Green's a big young and ain't he? He is. All right, Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the left. There's Green with the ball. He's going to run off that left tackle. Number nine tripped him up at the line of scrimmage, Brent. That's uh, going to be Rick Ricardo Bias, junior linebacker. He done a great job. He got just low enough where Green couldn't get a piece of him. That's probably where you want to stay to try to tackle him. <laughs> I guarantee you. Big third down play for the Panthers. Third and seven. Wing to the right. Bell at quarterback. Oh, they got him to jump. They did. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. Good job by the offensive line again for the Panthers. Good discipline there. That'll slow down the defensive front a little bit. I put the Panthers in distance there, Brent. Third and about a yard now. Change the pay, play calling for the Panthers. Go, Frankies. Roll red roll. Let's go, boys. All right, Frankie. We appreciate you tuning in, buddy. My good buddy Albert Thornton is listening in as well. All right, Mr. Albert. All right, here come third and one. Panthers wing to the right. There's a snap. He's going to bring it Ooh, right. I think he got it, Adam. He did. He stretched out forward. To, I think he did get it. Good hard running. That was big 57 in there for Macon County. Macon That's Don County. Trail Hudson. Coming there and not got low, but five, I was just. 5'11", 260. That was just a great effort there by Bryant. So the Panthers have another first down. Break the huddle wing to the left. There's a snap. That's going to go to Green again. Trying to oh, stiff the arm. He got a little bit of room. Good hard running. That's good hard running on that left side. He picked up about six, maybe seven yards there, Brent. Off the of left side there. Good blocking for the Panthers on the offensive line. It's, uh, running behind. Uh, I got them all circled right here. I got Miranda all of them. Miranda and uh, Bridges. Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right. Bryant at quarterback. He's going to take it, and he's coming to the right. Good blocking out front. He's going to lean forward. Good, strong running. Got the first down. Got it. Panthers chewing it off three, four, and five yards at the time. Good blocking by that line. You got Corbett, Miranda, Heron, Lee, Cobb, all up front blocking for the Panthers. First and 10, here come the Panthers, wing to the left. There's the snap, there's Raymond. Raymond. He'll cut back, he got maybe two. Number 11 uh, on the tackle, Hakeem Perkins, senior defensive end. Along with that number 57 again, Brent. Boy, he fires off the ball he now. Does. That's, uh, he does, that's Hudson. He ain't but what, about 5'10"? 5'11", 260. 5'11". Uh. Looks like a bowling ball. 
Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right. Raymond and Bell in the backfield. That's going to give it back go, go, to the go. county. Wide open on that side. That's number Turn six for the Panthers. Good cut move. That is Zaylen Blank. Good running in there. Boy, he had some green grass on that side, he didn't sure he? sure did. Great play there by the Panthers. That trap play, boy. It works 80% of it the time. It does. Well, you get, the, you know, you're getting four and five yards yeah. run that sweep. They overplayed the sweep and called that just right. Turn Here comes Bale. Bale around the right side. Turns it up. He did. Great Ooh. job cutting up. They had it wide, Brent. And the Panthers are L cutting it a little bit to pick up a yard or two extra. He'll pick up four or five mm -hmm. yards. Mm -hmm. Macon's doing a great job trying to spread it out, but the Panther backs are cutting it up in there pretty good. Well, this first quarter's flying by, Ellen. It is. We have six. Oh, oh Panthers put it. it on the ground. Raymond will pick it up. Nowhere to go. A pack of dogs has him in the backfield. Wow. Two, four, uh, five, six, seven of them dogs in the backfield. They had the Panther tree then. That hurt there. Kind of foul. All right, let's see. Nessie Collins says, let's go Shane Burns. Chalet Carter, let's go Panthers. From Quail Hollow. All right. Benny White gives his approval on a couple of plays. There's the snap again. Bale coming Turn around up. the right. Good blocking out there by number five. Oh, man. Good hard running by Bale. That's a great block by Small coming around this end. Got Antonio Jefferson and Angela watching from Washington State. Let's go, Panthers. Yes, sir. They always tune in. We appreciate y'all tuning in, brother. Caden Arnold, roll red roll. Beth Walton, shout out from home sweet Homerville. <laughs> home sweet Homerville. Brent, it's fourth down here for the Panthers, fourth and five. Big play right here. Panthers going for it. On the 24-yard line. 2.20 to play in the first. There's a snap. Bale Pass. looking. He's going to throw it down the middle of the field. Got him oh, over. Man. Throws him just a foot. Good coverage. The Bulldogs didn't play on the fake. So the Bulldogs with a defensive that one fumble behind the line messed the Panthers up. So they'll turn it over on downs. Brent, the Panthers did have put together about a 65, 70-yard drive, just come up short. Yeah. Ate about six minutes off the clock. Wish we'd have got some points there. Bad thing, his kick comes that offense of Macon County. Yeah, it's a big, big drive right here. Panthers need to be able to hold them. Mm. Harris already one touchdown pass. Or, I mean, one big play to get it down there to set up the touchdown. Here come the Bulldogs in a spread. Panthers in a 3-5, it looks like. A little quick pass over there, incomplete. incomplete. It's going to be hard to get a sack on him. He throws the ball quick, he Brent. Does. Adam got Ralph Jenkins watching from Tallahassee. Let's go, Panthers. All right. Pam Moore, Pamela Moore, go, Panthers. Kyla Williams. Give him a shout out to R.J. Gloucester. R.J., great player for the Panthers. Got Jamie watching from Miller County. Said he'd remember playing both of these teams in the 90s. Well, we'll be there in that next week. That's Jamie, right. we'll be in Miller County. Here comes the snap. Going to fake it to give it a fullback dive, it looked like. Good job by the Panthers. That's Tyler Fielder right up the middle. It's number two for the Panthers on the tackle, McNair. Good looking uh, freshman for the Panthers. 143, clock running here in the first. Third and eight. Panthers defense need a stop here. Big play. Harris with the ball, looking, looking, got oh, time. Screen. Oh, Oh, boy. They had him underneath. He did. Huge break for the it Panthers. It was. Huge break. Force a punt right here. Love to see Bell take it back like yes, he did sir. last week in Homerville. I'm interested to see how they're going to do it. 
Panthers are going to put Bell and Bryant back. So, you know, you got to pick your poison, I guess. I sure would kick, kick it away from number 11. Got uh, Gutierrez punting. Kind of like Zanika for us. He does the, the extra points and the punting duties. Good snap. He's going to get it down. Oh, pretty Good punt, hit. Brent. Here comes Bell. Bell has it. Oh, run almost to block in the back. Oh, what? he got out. He might go. He's going to get back, but he's going to make oh. it all the way down to the 28 <laughs> yard line. Boy, he can fly. Umpire oh. kind of reached for that. Flag I know. Right. I was <laughs> looking at the referee, so I missed a good cut Ooh. Bell made, but uh, yeah. Uh, it was a good no call because the boy stopped in front of him. We'll take it. Great run by Bell. Here come the Panthers knocking on the door again. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Carl Addison wants to know if you picked out that tux yet. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm waiting for uh, for the, the date. <laughs> Felicia Williams says go Panthers. Tony Allen, roll red roll. Tony. Only the good defensive end for the Panthers back in the day. I guarantee you, number 88. Yes, sir. There goes Bryant. Bryant up the middle. Oh. oh, it come out. Was he down? Brent, let's see. I don't think they're going to give it to the Panthers. They're going to call it a fumble, I'm afraid. I don't know. I thought his knee might have been down. No, the dogs are barking. Coach Tyson wants it down. Referees meeting, let's see. I don't know what they were. I tell you what, making count, that's how you coach them up. You run off the field like you got it, whether you do or not. Oh yeah, making county ball. Making county ball. Man, wow. it's another missed opportunity. That's the second time the Panthers have been inside the 20 now in the red zone and come away with no points, Brent. I'll come back to bite us, Alan. Seven to nothing, 106 to play in the first. Shout out to Jermaine Jackson, student at Clinch County. School system. All right, here come them Bulldogs. Harris at quarterback, spread formation. He'll take the snap. He's oh, going to keep it good. Good job. Number seven just cleaned his clock. That's Alvin Green coming from that end. thought the ball might have moved. The man, there, it looked like it come out, but he fell on he it, Brent. fell on it, that's right. He'll lose. Good four or five yards. It'll be second and 14. Alan, I want to remind everybody, six o'clock on Monday for the. That's right. Y'all come out and support the middle school softball Lady Panthers. That is for first place. That's right. We'll be taking on Lanier County. Me and, box will yeah, be covering. Me and Brent will be out there. So we'd love to have you out there. If you can't make it, you can catch it live on Creek Box. There's a snap to Harris. He's going to give it to Fielder. Not much going on. Nothing in the middle. Good job by that Panther defense. It's going to bring up third and long, backed up. Green in there again, along with number five for the Panthers. That's small. They'll wait for the clock to run out in the first quarter. So that's going to end the first quarter. Panthers trail seven to nothing. We'll be back in just a second. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. 
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Brent James. Brent, boy, that first quarter flew by. It sure did. Panthers trailing seven to nothing, but the defense putting up a good job. It's four, third and 15. Big play right here. Harris with the ball, looking, looking, throw got deep. time, throw throwing down the middle. the middle. Incomplete. Incomplete. I think somebody got a hand on it. Pretty good. It looked like he had all day. The Panthers finally got a rusher in there and rushed it up a little bit. Fourth down now, fourth and 15. Well, we got a score here, Allen, uh, 14 to nothing, Pierce over Jeff Davis. All right. Miss Johnson says, come on, Bell, let's go. I'm with you, Miss Johnson. He liked the broke one a while ago. He got a good punt a while ago. Panthers ought to get good field Man, position out of this. Bell ought to get up under about the 45-yard line. Fitting to get a delay of game. There it went. There it went. That's illegal. That's going to back it up. I hear Jamie and Bill hollering. That's <laughs> how I knew it was a delay of game. Back them up of five yards. What are they doing, Alan? I think they're calling a timeout. We'll stay right here. Now, give me a chance to give everybody a shout out, our sponsors. We have Clayton Homes in Waycross, Pizza Inn in Waycross, Camping World of Alasta, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Big Daddy's on Highway 84. I bet they're packed full tonight up there. Burt, CPA, and Adam Toll, Napa of Homerville, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Dre's Snack Shack, Huey's, Homerville Jewelers, Dairy Queen of Homerville, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Meadow, Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, uh, Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program, and Homerville Fargo Feed and Sea. All right, Alan, tell us how, how you can become a sponsor. You can get a hold of Lily, me, Daniel, Katie. Katie. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Y'all hey, give them a call and we can hook you up. We'd love to add anybody to the Creek Box family, y'all. Yeah, we got Lily helping us out. She knows what she's doing now. <laughs> Me and Daniel just thought we knew. <laughs> All right, bail back. This has got to be a dangerous thing right here. If it's a bad snap, Brent, I'm sure he called a timeout and said, kick it out the back of the end zone, fall on the ball, because he's punting out of the end zone. Panthers look like they're just set up their return here. Brent, the end are probably coming and get a good one in. Oh, it's going to. Good bounce and that, die. Oh, man. Oh, boy, Bale. Bale about it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, and he might have picked it up if that one yeah. had to cut in front of it. But the Panthers have great field position again. This will be their third possession. Panthers. First two, they've been inside the 20. That's right. Panthers looking to not self destruct this time. and. Get a good drive going and punch one in. I think, man, in Valosta and Cook County's playing tonight. Right. I want to see what that's like. If y'all know the score on that, man, shoot it to Brent. All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the left. Bryant. Green in the backfield. Bryant going to take it. He's coming to the left. Oh, he's, he's got, got room. the corner. He's, he's going to make the turn. He's going to pick up 11 or 12. Great blocking over here on this left side. Good hard run by Bryant. That was a good hard run. Macon County had everybody packed in the box there. They did. That's the only bad thing. You packed inside. When you, you get outside, get out. you can go. First and 10, Panthers all the way down to the 29-yard line of Macon. Wing to the right. There There's green. green up the middle, four yards. Good hard running in Good there. Good keeps them honest, too. He's a load. He picked up five then, Brent. Alan, we got a Trey Battle, former UGA player, coming next week to speak to the students at Clinch County. All uh, right, man. Sponsored by the United Way Greater Valdosta. 
Man, that is great. Here comes Bale to the left. He's going to get outside. He'll cut back up. He'll pick up a couple of yards. A little extra activity going on there. Yeah. They got them all separated. He's going to be about a yard short. Trey Battle has a good story. I uh, read a little bit last night about him. and Of course, he played at Georgia but went on and had a, uh, several years in NFL. But uh, I think he works for a church now, but he has a good story. And he'll Man, share that, that with kids good. next week. Man, looking forward to that. They're going to get Raymond. it to Raymond up the middle. He's got the first, and he'll pick up a couple of more. Well, Panthers are getting four and five yards of carry. They are. Brent, we got a pile of folks tuning in. We got over 3,000 people watching tonight so far. Brad Ingram. Brad Ingram, another good ball player That's for the right. Panthers. Jamie says it's hot and muggy in Homerville. Uh-huh. Well, it's clear here in Montezuma. Yes, sir. And the temperature's dropping a little. In here where we at. <laughs> <laughs> we got that big blower going uh -huh. on. AC cut on high. All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. They're going to give it to Raymond again. Oh, man, to the left. Got he got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown by Walker Jones, baby. Walker Jones, there it is. <laughs> Raymond, boy, he took off. He was going to the he races, was. wasn't he? Seven to six, Panthers on the board now. You've been wanting him to call his number, Alan. Yes, sir, boy. <laughs> I tell you, he just runs hard, he man. Does. He gets them big legs going. Low to the ground, hard to see, hard to tackle. I'd hate to have to square up and try to bring him down. All right, there's your B-man out there. All right. Josh, we're going to try the extra point. Last week he was five for five. He's out there kicking it good. More oh, oh, is it close? I don't know. Nope. Oh, it just went to the right. Boy, that was a good rush then. Yeah. Kind of threw him off, so that will leave the score seven to six. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. at 7 to 6 here in Montezuma. Panthers trail by one, Brent. Good drive by the Panthers, had good field position. Good kick there by Joshua all the way oh, down to man. the 12. It's going to bounce off of him. Ball. Oh, oh, what a lick. <laughs> Who's that, number oh. 10? For the number 10 lit him up, or is that 18? Let me see. That's Jay 10. Jaden Reed. Man, he come down and got him. Great hustle. He's the first one down the field. Yeah, was. Laid the lick on him. Man, they're backed up now. On about the 8, 19 yard line. All right, Allen. Tony Allen says he's uh, heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Judge Revolta was in DuPont the yes, other Saturday sir. night. Saturday night. He was, he was hanging around Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Brent was there with that wig on. <laughs> he looked like Shaggy. <laughs> hey, I just I dressed whatever what laid told. out. <laughs> what they laid out, that's what I, I put on. <laughs> There's a snap. Here come the Bulldogs, number nine, running it hard. Or is that number three, Brent? Uh, three. Three, yeah. that is uh, Patterson. Patterson. Senior running back. Patricia Talbert says, let's go, Panthers. Kamaya Calhoun, go, Deshaun. D. Posley, let's go, Clinch County. All right. 
They're going to give it at number four this time. Oh, good, good lick there lick. by the Who Panther coming across the top. Bryant was in there, no? That was him. That was Bryant that laid the lick up high. Big down here. Boy, the defense has stepped up here the last two possessions. It's going to be third and two. Curtis Reed says, go clinch. Go Reed, boys. Number 10 and 23. Macon County needing two yards. Quick pass. Going to oh, throw it out. He got man. it complete, and he'll pick up the first down, Brent. It's hard to get to him yep. when he throws it that quick. It went right over a Panther player. It did. It surely did. Mm. Here come the Bulldogs now. They're on the move. Jeffrey Abney says, let's go, Panthers. Harris at quarterback, running back to the right. They're going to bring a man in motion, fake the jet. Harris oh, will keep it. Elijah Lee. Yes, sir. It. Big 59 did. I want to remind everybody on September the 22nd and September the 23rd, which is homecoming weekend, the class of 1973 will be celebrating their 50-year class reunion. If you were ever a member of their class, a teacher, principal, or even a board member, you are all invited. For more information, please contact Charles Handley, Kathy Handley, Gail Enfinger, or Debbie Bennett. So y'all want to remind that, class of 73 reunion coming up. All right. There's another oh, good run, man. number six, up the middle, Brent. Boy, if he gets a step, That's he's got it. it. He's just a sophomore. Felder is a senior. A senior? Yep. Okay. The good running back, I was trying to see the one that they said that was so good. I guess it's four or two. I don't know. I had not seen none of him. But this one right here can stroll. They're in the pistol formation now. Brent, they're going to hand it off to him again. He's going to pick up another five, six yards. So they kind of swapped up the offense a little bit, and it seemed to be working. Panthers starting to substitute a little bit more, trying to get some fresh bodies in there. Green coming out. Well, I know he's hot. Yep. All right, here they come. Back in a spread now. Harris at quarterback. They catch the Panthers defense not lined up. He's going to pick up the first. Plus a couple of more. Brent, they snap the ball for the Panther defense with every set. First down, Macon County driving. And they're just, I think you're right, they're just feeding it up, hurrying up, and snapping the ball. They come again, Harris, they're in the spread again. He's going to fake it to Four six, he'll pull it. Good Nothing. job there this time. The Panthers will wrap him up. He'll pick up a couple, second and eight. Big. I believe we get the Panthers. Well, they need some water right yeah. now. Seeing a little bit of fatigue showing. What do we got? Six and a half, 640 left in the first half. Panthers trail seven to six. They're going to give it to number four this time. Boy, he's like lightning around that end. He's it's going Tyler to be close. Steven. That might be that running back. That is. He just picked up the first down, Brent. Man. You blink, he, he's gone. He can fly. Mm -hmm. Number six runs it hard. Number four is like a bolt of light. I'm telling you. Here come the Bulldogs. They're barking on this end again. Snap. Let's see, we got a timeout. Panther. Panthers, that's a great timeout. Me and Brent will take one, too. We'll be back here in 60 seconds. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. 
We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're live. Panthers needed a timeout there, Brent. Yeah, needed a little break, get a little water in them and regroup. Coach Winston, Panthers played great. They shut the Bulldogs out for three possessions, but here they come. Trying to answer the Panthers' touchdown. They're going to give it off. Number six again. He'll pick up four or five yards. Pushing the pile back. That's Fielder again. Well, we got LaMarcus Ganey. Let's go, Panthers. Caden King, let's go, Panthers. Coming from number 78 on the middle school team. Got my nephew and niece, Tripp and Bell, watching. All right. From Shiloh Road area. Yes, sir. Bulldogs going to run oh, it. Man. Number four, there he is, getting around in. Oh, Great. Bell, Bell saved that. I thought he had it, and a just flash come by. Bell closed it down. Third down. Yeah, the middle school football team won Wednesday 36 to nothing against Lakeland and Homerville. Oh, wow. Got Ann Wells watching. Miss Ann. Ann and, and, and Smiley. All right, here come the Bulldogs. Harris, he's going to hand it off to oh, number four. Man. Great job there. Who's that, Brent? Number seven. That's number Raymond three. Number, number three. three. Miller for the Panthers. Good stop. That's going to bring up stop. fourth down. Fourth down and about two, maybe three. We know they'll go for it. I think they would, Brent. And they are. They got number six beside. They got Fielder on the left side, hand side of Harris. Harris with the snap. Pass, looking, pass, looking, pass. looking, looking. He's going deep. Going He's deep. on. Oh, going. overthrow. Great job. But they had him covered, they too. They did. Bell had him shut down. Big stop. I thought he was going to come across the middle for a minute, Brent. Good job. Plenty by that. of time to throw it. He did. Good job by the Panthers secondary staying in their place. So the Panthers defense will bend but won't break. Bulldogs drove it about 60 yards, but the Panthers put the brakes on them. Now here comes the offense now. 4-34 to play in the first half. Panthers lead 7-6. to I think that timeout kind of gave the Panthers a little it bit did. of a That was a refresh the rate. best thing that the Panthers could do. Good job by Coach Little Winston getting it. Timeout and coaching up the defense, him and Coach Chase. All right, here come the Panthers, wing to the left. They're going to come this way, trying come to get out Bell. wide. That's Bell with a good cut. Good. Man, he's one step away, Brent. If he can get through that first level of trash, he's going to be hey. gone, brother. <laughs> He's just before breaking one again. A great cut, man. I love to see him when they make that L cut. He'll pick up four yards. That's going to be second and six. I don't like it when they string it to the sideline. Cut it up in there. Get what you can. Panthers doing a good job of that tonight. They'll break the huddle. Wing to the right. Two receivers to the right. They're going to come back, back to the left. Bell again. Good job by the Bulldogs. Bell stilled all that. Man, he picked up on his own. Well, he... Uh, Displayed Red a lot of, he that's did. right, displayed a lot of patience there and waited for his block to get him a little room. Is that Mighty Mouse in with a hand that wrapped is. up? That is, man. Good to see him out there. I didn't think he was going to play tonight. Pam Moore says, let's go Mighty Mouse. He's out there. He's tough as a ladder knot. Sophomore, right? Yes, sir. Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right. There's the snap. Goes Bryant. Up the middle, he almost popped it out. Man, Good blocking up hard. the middle, man. Corbett. About eight yards, nine. 
Corbett, Miranda, Heron, Lee, and Cobb opening up them holes for the Panthers. Panthers kind of have the Bulldogs on their heels a little mm -hmm. bit now. Panthers uh, hurrying up, getting back to the line. Three and a half minutes to play in the first half. There's there goes the Brian again. Brian again. He's oh, gonna, he's got a run. He got another one. He's going to pick up another first down. Good hard running. First down. Three minutes to go. Let's go defense from LaDante Malone. Is that who that is? LaDante yeah. Malone. Let's go defense. Panthers back up to the line. Bell checks back in. Wing to the right now. Clock running, 305, 304. Bale trying uh -oh. to get it out he wide. Turn he it on. got there. He got by him. Did he get out of bounds? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. A lot of penetration in there by the Bulldogs. Bale run 30 yards to pick up a foot. Man, if we could sneak a mm, pass right, right down here, the middle of the be field. Wide open, I yeah. yeah, it would. But Panthers are having success running it right now. So. We're just running out of time, Brent. That's right. Clock is running, 236, 235. Panthers right at midfield. Actually, they're on the 48-yard line of Macon County. They lead 7-6. to six. There's the snap. They're going to give it to the big man up man. the middle. Ooh. He'll lean on one. Got about five. That's going to be third down and about five now. Clock still running, 210. Two nine. We're under two minutes now. Let's go. Fans are saying, let's snap the ball. Let's go. The clock is running. We got to go. Ten seconds on the play clock. 1.45 to play in the first half. Here they go. Third and six now. There's the snap. Bryant going wide. Going wide, trying to get his block. Got, got him, blocks. cut him. He got his first down get and out of bounds. Good run by the Panthers. <laughs> Smart move in there, getting behind number seven. Jeff and Doreen James watching from Lanier County. That's because. All right. Is Lanier playing tonight? Yeah, yeah. Let us know what the score is going on with them Bulldogs from the region. Can't remember who they're playing, but. New Barry and Atkinson are playing. All right, here come the Panthers. Clock running. You got to go. Get still. Turn it up. Turn it up. Bryant looking, looking, looking. He'll pick up three, four yards. Panthers 125. Driving. Late in the first half. They got two timeouts. Two don't timeout. they, Brent? Clinch will get the ball first in the second half. Man, if they could get about the 25, 20-yard line, Joshua can try a field goal. Clock is running. Let's go. Let's go. Just bleeding it. 105, 104, 103. Ten seconds on the play clock now. Let's go. They're going to snap it. Raymond up the middle. He's going to be hit. He's still going. Fighting. Golly. Crawling. Got it. Did he get the first down? I That'll stop did, the Al. clock. Yeah, he got it. First down. That'll stop the clock. 46 seconds. Panthers are call a timeout now, and they're all the way down to the Bulldog 25-yard line, Brent. I want to remind y'all, y'all don't go nowhere at halftime. We got the band will perform. They're lining up. And I tell you what, the band full of Homerville, I know them uniforms are hot. <laughs> Son, they're beautiful. They're pretty all glittered up, but they got to be hot. Beard man watching his let's go little Ray is. Well, the Panthers have gotten every yard they've earned on the ground. Yep. I think they've been maybe two passes completed for making. One of them was about a 40 yarder. The other one about a five or six yarder. The Panthers can get it. Some points on the board here and go in the half with the lead and then come back and get the ball back in the second half. My man, Rollo Dooley. 
Says, right. yeah, Hurricane, I'm in Ohio. <laughs> All right, man, what you doing up there? What do we got, Whoa. a penalty? I think the Panthers are ready to snap the ball. And... All right, 46 seconds to play in the first half. It's first and 10 for the Panthers. Snap Bells. the bell. Oh, oh good rush Don't. coming. Nowhere he got away from him, though. Throw Look it, at, throw it. Looking, he's, he's throwing it. Oh, boy, he was wide open. Man, there wasn't nobody within 30 Ooh, yards of him. Oh, man. Oh, that was uh, number 18, Brent, in the end zone, wide, wide open. open. Bell was running for his life. We got a lot. We'll cut on after halftime up here. Brent, help us. That was Tristan Self in the end zone, hoping the ball would come to him. Second and 10 now, 36 seconds to play in the first half. That penetration killed us on that. Panthers kind of. trail seven to six. There's a snap. Oh, Bell, he's, he's going to run. Look, he's got, he got a little bit of room. Oh, mm. good tackle there by number eight. That's going to be uh, Ray Ray Mobley. Man, we got a score update here. Cook County six, Valos to nothing. Woo. Second quarter. Clock is running, 15 seconds. Come on, get set, get set. Third down, there's the snap. Bell looking, nowhere to go. Good blocking, they trying to get, get up. Down. You got to get out of bounds. Running, running, three, two, two, two seconds. seconds. Coach Tyson had to run down the field. They kept him in bounds. Bell was trying to get out of bounds. He's down, getting up slow. Let's see if they're going to bring Joshua on. I think they are, Brent. They're going to try to, a field goal here. Two seconds to play in the half. And it's fourth and one. I don't know if they're going to kick it or not. Let's see what they're talking about. Yeah, they're going to try the field goal. He's going to put it down. What's that, Brent? The 22, that's going to be a 32-yarder. It's within his range. Yeah. Got a timeout, clinch. Man, the problem is making County bring in the speed off the ends. That's how it was on the extra point. What a game. Top 10 matchup. Number four ranked Panthers, number nine ranked Bulldogs from Macon County. Seven to six, Macon County on top. Panthers have never won in Montezuma. Mm. What a game, boy. It's been a good one. We got a crowd watching, Brent. We got around 3,800 people watching tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. All right, Panthers lining up, getting ready to try a 32-yarder. This will be the last play of the first half unless there's a penalty. Joshua getting ready. There's oh. a snap, low snap. Oh, they call a timeout. Let's see. Number eight was shooting the gap. I think they're trying to ice the kicker, Zaniga. Mm. Yep, they're going to ice him. Got Bainbridge and Coffee, seven apiece out. Uh -huh. Cook, six, Valdosta, zero. Wayne County, 14, Brooks, zero. I think Wayne got a pretty good team. Yeah. Well, Brooks. Yeah, they do. You know, that was a – they played Central last week. Man, and Central and Thomasville and Thomasville's playing tonight. But that was a good game going into the fourth quarter. And I think Thomasville turned it up in the fourth quarter and pulled away from Brooks County. A report that Lanier, Telfair, and Charlton Uly games are 
both have lightning delays. That storm passing through, maybe they'll get it on out of there. Heather Ganey says, let's go Panthers. Amanda Webb, let's, let's get them Panthers. We got Brunswick 14, Camden seven. Appreciate those scores. Yes, sir. Y'all keep them coming in. All right. I think Macon's out of timeouts now. So this will be it. 32 yard attempt by Joshua. He's going to be on the left hash, Brent. The low snap, the last one. Let's see this one. That's a pretty snap. They get it down. He got it off. Oh, oh he'll it hook right. it to the right. Boy, there was a rush coming on. I'm surprised he got it off. Well, what a great first half. We're going to go into halftime. Y'all don't go nowhere. The bands are fixing to perform. It's Macon County 7, Clinch County 6. We'll be back here in the second half. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the...
Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. The certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive in Oakcroft. Get the best Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs, so don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. 
Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Brent James. We're at halftime where the Bulldogs from Montezuma had the Panthers all caged up seven to six. Brent, you got the Panther stats anyway. We don't all have right. Montezumas. All right, let's roll with them. We got Aaron Bryant, eight carries for 63 yards. We got Jeremy Bell, eight carries for 38 yards. 
Ja'Shawn Raymond, five carries for 22 yards and one touchdown. We got Zaylen Blank with two carries for 18 yards. And big Alvin Green, four carries for 13 yards. Panthers got about a hundred and a half in the first half. I don't think we have any passing yards out. No, we don't have no passing yards. <laughs> we didn't last week. No. Hey, maybe that'll change here. That's but right. the Panthers have moved the ball. You That's know, we right. just uh, got in a bind. We run out of time. I want to remind everybody on September the 22nd and 23rd, which is homecoming weekend, the class of 1973 will be celebrating their 50-year class reunion. If you were ever a member of uh, their class, a teacher, a principal, or even a board member, you are all invited. For more information, please contact Charles and Kathy Handley, Gail Enfinger, or Debbie Bennett. I want to remind that. I think Big K, that might be Big K. He might be in that class, too. Uh, man, we appreciate everybody tuning in. I need to give a shout-out to our sponsors before we get started. We got the Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed. Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Lux Brown Insurance, Douglas Metal, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Dairy Queen of Homerville, Homerville Jewelers, Hueys, Dre Snack Shack, Napa, Burt CPA, Big Daddies on Highway 84, Clinch Memorial Ph Pharmacy, Camping World of Alasta, Pizza Inn and Waycross, and Clayton Homes of Waycross along with the Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate all of them being sponsors. If anybody would love to become a sponsor, if you'll get a hold of Lily, Lily Blitz, Shady Katie, Lexi, me, Daniel, uh, Connor, Beth, we can hook you up. Uh, we'd love to add you on. Uh, we have a minute and 40 seconds before we fit to start the third quarter. Y'all have any scores around, let us know. Let's see, Robin Merritt, due to a tornado, Berrien versus Axon game has been rescheduled for tomorrow night at eight. Joey Rich says, Irwin, 21, Dooley, 12. That's a good game. Chantel Gamble, hey, Miss Webb. Braden, let's see, Benny White, let's go Panthers. David said, we're up 14 to nothing over Richmond Hill at the half. A lot of good games going on. I think you said Valosta took the lead back 13 to six at the half over Cook County. All right, we got a couple of, got Atkinson and Berrien game has been postponed. Hearing there was a tornado in Nashville, so that's oh. being postponed till tomorrow night at 8, 8 p.m. When you go to Berrien County, that usually happens. <laughs> uh. Oy. Brent, I think it's going to come down who's in the best shape going into fourth quarter because both teams are about dead even. Yeah. Panthers very. could have one more score, but M Macon County could too. They right. drove down there and the Panthers did a held good them. held them. So uh, that's exactly right. Panthers had a uh, one bad snap cost them one drive, and that's then right. uh, a fumble cost us another drive, but. Panthers do get the ball first in the second half, so we'll see what they can do on this first possession. Be interested to see if they're going to continue to kick the bail. Bail come close to breaking the first punt. There's the horn. We're getting ready to start the third quarter. Bainbridge 7, Coffee County 10. We appreciate that update. Somebody sent in. Cockwood 17, Stockbridge 7. Right. Blackley 27, Wilcox 7. Mm. Fitzgerald 36, Turner 6. Mm. Fitz, Fitzgerald for real yeah. now. Early County 15, Seminole 6. Thomas Central 28, Thomasville 7. Mm. Glen Academy 7, McIntosh County Academy 6. Mm, that's a good game. Mm. Boy, McIntosh playing them tough. Bacon County 16, Scriven County 7. Oh, man. Red Raiders turning it yeah. up over in Alma. Brunswick 21, Camden 14. Mm, that's a shocker. Applin 42, Aiken 0. Applin must have a good team because yeah. they played. They, they had County. wear beat to the last <laughs> second right there. Appreciate the, uh, those scores coming from a good buddy, Gregory. Call yes, sir, man. Virginia Jefferson says, let's go Panthers. 
All right, we're getting ready. The Panthers bail back deep, sitting around the seven, eight yard line. We finally got us some lights turned on up here. We can see a little bit. Bulldogs getting ready to kick off, and here he comes. He'll get into that one way back out of the end zone. Boy, that's one way to keep it out of Bale's hand, kick it out the back. And they do, so the Panthers will start first and 10 on their own 20. David says, Mr. Allen, you about ready to see what Coach Napier and the Gators are going to do this year? I am. I am. Well, <laughs> next they start Thursday, off we, <laughs> we go to Utah. Ooh. We, we clipped them down in Gainesville last year, but I don't know about this year. We just kind of, we're still young. We're a year away. All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. They're going to stick it up the middle. He's going to get maybe a yard or two. Good defense in there by the Bulldogs. Bryant. Nowhere to go. Brennett's finally cooling off a little bit where you could actually sit outside and tolerate it. Well, Daniel might disagree with Man, him. all he can do is eat a snow cone and get a headache. <laughs> That's it. You got a brain freeze. That's a big snow cone to make that headache. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here come the Panthers. They got that wing to the right. They're going to stick it in on that right side. He's going to pick up a couple. It'll be about third and four, yep, five. Yeah, third and four. Panthers did a great job last week going on two. Yeah, that could be an option yes, right here. Yes, sir. Boy, they need a first down. Love to get a couple of first downs on this possession, Brent. Wing to the right. There, there it is. They got him. You called it. That'll be an automatic first down. You would think they'd seen that on film and would put the brakes on. That was number two. He's a freshman. Good-looking athlete for Miller. I mean, uh, Macon. Yeah, you're a week ahead of a us. Week we'll ahead. Be, we'll be in ahead. next week. All right, Panthers wing to the right. Bryant in the backfield. He's going to take a counter step, come back to the left, sticks it Good. up the middle. He'll pick up 11, 12 yards. Good blocking by that Panther line. Levi Corbett, Nicholas Miranda, Cody Heron, Kalijah Lee, and Elijah Cobb, all of them. Stepping in there, blocking. Panthers back to the line real quick. Wing to the right. Mm -hmm. They're going to give it to the big guy, Brent. He's going oh, to man, he's forward. pushing Look the at pile. Him. Boy, he's going to pick up six, seven yards. Macon trying to take the ball. I think he was down. Let's see. Referee on this he's side saying, says he's, he's down. down. Good hard running in there. Pushing the pile. Alvin Green, boy, that's about 240 pounds. Doreen said, Doreen Oliver said she was giving him some tips earlier. <laughs> well, it's working. There's a snap. They're going to run it in behind him. Good defense this time by the Bulldogs. Number 11 in the bottom on that pile for the Bulldogs, Brent. Okay, that's going to be uh, Perkins. Hakeem Perkins. 6'3", 175. Good looking athlete. Sure is. It's just hard to get around the end on those tall defensive mm. ends. You know, we think about that long pass, Bell was scrambling for his life and had one wide open in the end zone. Bell just didn't have time to get it out of there. Couldn't quite get his feet set. All right, wing to the right. Brian at quarterback. He's going to take it. He'll give it there to Bell. Bell. There comes He's Bell got room, on the left He's side. Got room. He's got the corner. Trying to cut it back, he'll stay in bounds. Getting a little help from. Yep. <laughs> he'll pick up what? About 15, 20 yards. Wow. Good oh, run by Bell. Man, they catch making a sleep on the wide yeah. side. Get Bell around that end and turn it on. He does, and he will not go out of bounds. He don't want to run out of bounds. He'll cut it back up in there. 
8.50 to play in the third. Panthers on the move, trying to take the lead. All the way down to the 30-yard line of Macon County. There's a the snap, big man up the middle again. He's gonna pick up three, four yards. Comes Raymond then. Yeah, we need a dose of Raymond now. Joey Rich, good to hear from him. He said Irwin has five starters out tonight due to COVID. Oh, man. Storm spotters headed home. All right, there's the Panthers, wing to the right. They're gonna bring it around. Bryant coming to the right. Oh, he's He'll got break some the room. line up the middle. Still Get on down. his feet. He'll pick up a first. All the way down to about the 10, what's that, the 13 yard line. This is the fourth trip inside the red zone for the Panthers tonight. Panthers need to cash it in this time. They've cashed it in once. Nathan Talbert, let's go boys, roll red roll. All right, they break the huddle, wing to the right. Bell back at quarterback along with Raymond at the back. Oh boy, I don't know oh, who got man. man, that was almost a turnover. Good job by Bell. He'll lose two, three yards. I don't know who the snap was supposed to go I don't to know then. Bell saved the turnover. There was nowhere to go when he started that way though. Score Irwin 21, Dooley 12 at halftime. Good game there. Got Jonathan and Angela Talbert watching from Cuttings Loop. Second and 13 now. Wing to the right. They're gonna give it to Raymond up the middle. Nowhere to go, good mm. job. Boy, that's number eight. Come in the line and made a that's lick. Big Ray Ray Mobley. He did it. Ray Ray laid the wood down along with big number 57. He's been in there all night. 57, that's Dontrell Hudson. Senior. Anchor in that defensive line, he does a great job. They want green. Nuts. Well, Brent, is it two downs here? You gonna try another field goal? I think you try a field goal yeah, again. Yeah, you got two you down don't. by one. I'm with you on that. It's Well, it depends what we get here. It's third and 13. If you can get about 10 yards, you might. Wing to the left, two receivers to the left. Bale's rolling that way, trying to get outside. Nowhere to go this time. Boom, they got him. That's number eight again, Brent. Slung him down hard on that sideline. Looked like Bale's gonna have the breath knocked out of him, I'm sure. He landed flat of his back. Usually that's a sign. I've had that happen to me, brother. Yep. And you think you're dying when all the wind comes out of you. They'll go over there and that's get him That's close up. to being a personal foul. Yeah, they don't yeah. Really? Yeah. Right close to the sideline. I don't know if he got back to the line of scrimmage or not, Brent, but that's gonna be fourth down now. We got a roll red roll coming in. We're gonna take a timeout while they check on Bell and we'll be back in 60 seconds. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Bale will walk off on his own. He's doing fine. Rich, you're right. The Panthers going to try. This is set down at the 25. This will be a 35-yarder. And they're sitting on the left hash this time. He's been pushing it right. He did. On the extra point in the field goal attempt earlier. He missed it about a foot a while ago. Bryant going to hold the ball. There's a snap. Good snap. Bryant puts it down. Look out. There it goes. It's going to be a little short to the left. 
So there's another field goal missed opportunity and the score will stay seven to six. Bulldogs on top. Panther defense will come out now. The Panthers move the ball then, Brent. Good drive, just come up short again. That's right. We've been inside the 25 times and scored once. Just about six minutes off the clock yeah. on that drive. Got Joe and Lawton Smith watching from West Virginia. My man Joe. Never forget when he got knocked out with a softball over there, man. <laughs> they hit a foul ball and Joe was over there preaching and he never seen the ball come and it hit him right on top of the head. Oh, man. He thought the Lord done caught him home. <laughs> he woke up about five minutes <laughs> Hey, all right, here come the Bulldogs. Good job Good, by the defense there, by out number the three. Number three, the ball come out. Let's see. Where's he spotting the ball at? What? Man. He's spotting the ball on the 19, and they tackled him on the 10. Wow. You're right, P. John. You're exactly right, brother. I don't understand that one. That must have been where he touched him at. All right, it'll be second. They said he lost a yard, second and 11. Harris at quarterback, Bulldogs in the spread. They're going to try to give it. No, no, Harris pulls it, sticks it up oh. the middle. Look out. Oh. One man, two man miss. Bale will hit him up and knock oh. it down. The ball no, come out. Let's see. Let's come see. On, what, oh, they're going to call come him on. down. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Whoa. Brent, I don't know if we had the replay, we could tell. Wow. Tough call. Good saving tackle by Bell. Bell's the only one could have saved it. Harris was gone. Bell got him down and the ball come out. Panther fan said it come out right before he hit the dirt. Angel said it's pouring in by Lasta. There's a up there. Good defense by the Panthers. And 14 for the Panthers. That's uh, Mingo. Mingo with the stop. Freshman. That's probably why that score in Valosta is as close as it is wet, slippery. Seven to six here, 4.45 to play in the third. Here come the Bulldogs, second and eight. Harris at quarterback. He's going to mm. stick it in there to number six. He pops through. Look out, eight, nine, ten yards right up the middle. They're starting to slash that yep. defense, Brent. Gloucester in on the tackle. That's when your secondary starts to make tackles, you can look out. Yeah. Good blocking by that Bulldog line now. Here they come. They're going to split number nine out here all the way to sideline. They're in a pistol formation this time. Harris is going to keep it. He got that corner and going to pick up another eight yards. Let's see, he might have got the first. Where are you spotting that one at? About a two yards, yard and a half short. Second down and a yard now. They're running that option. He's feeding it in there, yep. and that seems to be working for him. Quarterback's just reading. The Linwood Rowan says, roll, red, roll. They're going to flop number six over to the left. Harris at quarterback. There's the snap. There's a hitch out here to number 12. Nowhere to oh. go. Good job by the Panthers, number five. They all hit him. He'll lose about a yard then, Brent. Bring up third down. Here it comes. Harris is going to ride that fool back in, number six again, right here, I'm sure. Harris will come in, he run over to the sideline, got the play, 3.35, clock running here in the third, seven to six. Macon County with a drive now. Sure, this will be two down territory. Yes, sir, they got Fielder on the right. Now he'll flop to the left. He's gonna stick it in oh, there to Fielder, they got it. Oh, oh, he kept good. it, good play. Good attack on there by Small. Boy, he, oh, they're gonna throw a flag, a face mask. I bet they call a face mask here, Brent. 
I think he just did hit. I don't think he grabbed it. No, there. No, all right. Man, that was a great play by Small. Back him up. You've got to. He came from the back side there. Well, man, he, he played both of them, the yeah. fullback and the quarterback. That'll back him up. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> I don't know who that is. All right, that's going to make it third and 15 now. Panthers got a break. 3-10 to play in the third. Panthers can't let any, any receivers get behind no, them right here. Last time it was fourth and 10 yeah. about here. He threw it all the way down inside the 10. Middle still open right there. There's the snap. Harris looking, oh, looking, got looking. Rush. Got him. Get him. Going to get by. He's going to throw it wide open across the middle. He's going to be short, short. though, Brent. But now they'll go for it. It's going to be fourth. Probably an eight or so. No, it's going to be less than that. It's going to be fourth. No, you might be right. Commerce 42 to 13 over Murphy. Clifford Alexander supporting the Panthers from Rodsville, Georgia tonight. Man, we appreciate you tuning in. Fourth and about seven, Brent. They're going for it. Oh, oh they Green got him got right him. there. Green got him along Side. with Small. Great job by the Panther defense, stepping it up on fourth down. Well, they're going to have great field position too, Brent. That ought to energize the Panthers there. Big stop. Boy, I thought the Panthers' defense was on their heels, yep. man. They wanted that turnover, and that kind of lit them up. The fans yep. woke up over here. Had the help of that penalty on Macon County. So the Panthers setting the ball on their own 45-yard line, 2.06 to play in the third. 7-6, to six. Macon County over the Panthers. There's a snap right there up goes, the middle. There goes. That's Bryant. Six yards. Mingo going in, Small coming out. I tell you what, Small's played some defense tonight. He now. has. He, he has turned it up really well on offense as well. All right, they break the huddle. Panthers wing to the right. They're going to run Brian again up the middle, and he might have got a yard. Ball squirted out. They're going to blow it dead. Bale picked it up. He would have been gone. Dooley said he was in Ohio. Trini said he's up there at Dondre's eating chicken wings. <laughs> he smells like uh, Cajun Ranch. All right, Brent. They're going to call up. No, we got one down with a cramp. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Look forward to seeing you. 
the certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive in Oakcroft. Get the best deal from Walker. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Number eight for Macon County. Cramping up bad. He's played hard tonight. That's Ray Ray Mobley. He's played great on offense and defense. We're here at the Panthers Trail. Seven to six, 114 to play in the third. Coach Tyson out there talking to the white cap. Uh, trying to get the next call. All right, Adam. We got Julia Lacey's his way to go, nephew. Gr number seven, Green. Garnett Holtz call says, let's go, mister. Number seven. He's going to be a bowler now. Yes, sir. For sure. About off 23, Cook six. That's getting late in the third, I'm sure. Edwin Walker, go Panthers. Shout out to my daughter, Marley Mixon, and the band. Great job. All right. The band did a great job. We appreciate you That's tuning right. in, Edwin. Band, the cheerleader. All right. Here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. Third yeah. and 40. Got them again. Got them again, Alan. Great job by that offensive line up front to hold and stay still. Panthers will move the chains again. You know, that's, boy, as a coach, after a timeout, that's aggravating. That is. Because you know he's told them over there, do not jump. There's nothing more frustrating than that happening. You can see the coach, bless his heart, he's aggravated. Them youngins playing hard. Man, they want to get back there. Here come the Panthers. Here comes Bell around the right end. Good Turns block. He's going to cut it up. Good lick there by number 11 again, Brent. We've called his name several times. That's Hakeem Perkins. I want to remind everybody, me and Brent will be on Creek Box Monday at 6 o'clock doing the girls' middle school for first place between Lanier County and Clinch County. First time they played was a great game. Yeah, it was four to one. Four to it was one, a good yeah. game. H.W. and Dawn watching from home. Roll, red, roll. What we got here, Alan Flag? Tell my buddy, little Lord, love you, son. Picking the flag up, waving it off. That's a do-over. Let's go, Panthers. Shout out to Hurricane 051. Not no more. <laughs> It's just cloudy anymore. Here come the Panthers, wing to the right. Bell coming that way. Oh, man. Trying to get outside, he does. Man. man, if it had been two foot wider, he'd have been gone. Jeez, that... number two, Parker. Woo, he came up hard I'm there, freshman. You, got a lick, I don't know what the fans, what were they hollering, did they hit him out of bounds? Did he get a first, Ella? It's close. Let's see where he's going, no, it ain't close. It would not be. The down stick, the referees are talking. Let's see what they're talking about, the fans. I didn't see a flag, Brent. The clock is still running. Stop now, 4.09 to play. 4.9 seconds to play in the third quarter. Bulldogs clinging to a 7-6 lead. Panthers trying to get it back. Jake Brooks, Bruce, let's go clinch. Got Dylan Johnson, says he, and Hunter Metz were watching from the Slash Pine Bucket while driving to Statenville on power outages. Man, them's hardworking people. You wouldn't know nothing about that with you, oh, man. man. Come on, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> and Slash Pine men doing it Taking them calls from you in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. I'll wake you up at 2 o'clock in the morning when that AC cuts off, brother. I got to have a fan now. <laughs> hey. All right, Brent, I don't think he got – they're saying it's third and seven. Coach Tyson wanting to look at the spot. Wow. Now the white cap. 
Where's the down marker? Well, I don't know. I don't see it. Did they break the down marker? It's well, close to the first yeah, down. Yeah, it looks like, like it's, it's third probably, and one. Yeah. They got seven on the scoreboard. So it's his third and one, folks. Here we go. Panthers wing to the left. They need a yard. They're going to snap it, it goes up. Back. And right up the middle. Oh, he, he jumped him. over one. All the way down to the 15-yard line. What a move what by a, Bryant. Man, he that's he, some athleticism right uh, there, he, he hurdled that one yeah. now. I remember Dexter McNeil doing that one time yes, in a playoff sir. game. That was in, in Homerville. 2010. Yeah. I was standing right on the sideline. That's going to get us to the fourth quarter. The Panthers once again down here knocking on the door. They got to get in this time. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food, including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken, and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Brent James in here. We're starting the fourth quarter. It's getting loud here, Brent. Bo Gator said he's giving you a shout out. Bo Gator. Argyle, Georgia. You hunt with Bo Gator and them out there in the woods? No, I, I don't hunt with Bo Gator. I think he hunts down there in Fargo. I Does believe. he? Yeah, I think. Could be wrong. He's hunting somewhere. <laughs> All right, Brent. What a run by Bryant. Set the Panthers up down here on about the 15-yard line. Once again, they're inside the red zone. This is trip number six. Panthers have got to punch it in here. There's the snap. There goes Bell, Bell coming to coming the left. Wide. Cut it up. Oh, yeah. one oh, man he... missed him. He's going to turn. Man. Oh, he's still on his feet. They're trying to rip the ball yeah. out. Get down. Man, he got hit two or three times. They still couldn't get him down. He'll pick up a yard or two. Boy, he's tough he's now. He's tough. He got spun around. I got to stand up now. It's getting a little exciting here. It's, we got another player, it looks like. Cramping over here on the sideline. Tadpole's trying to stretch him out. Coach Winston's going to go over there and help him. Here come the coaches. They'll see who it is. 11.44 to play in the game. It's 7-6. to six. Alan, we got Coffee 16, Bambers 14. Boy, that's a good game. Dutchtown 24, Tiff 16. Ware 14, Richmond Hill 7. Another good game. Got a confirmation that the Telfair Lanier game has been canceled. Ben Sims, Bo Gator, class of 1990. Ben Sims, that's right. Another good one. He was. I want to remind everybody, let me pull that up one more time. The class of 73. Let's see, on September the 22nd and 23rd, which is homecoming weekend, class of 1973 will be celebrating their 50-year class reunion. If you were ever a member of their class, a teacher, principal, or even a board member, you are all invited. For more information, contact Kathy and Charles Hanley, Gail Enfinger, or Debbie Bennett. Look forward to doing that, Brent. We'll be at homecoming. We'll get to... Honor all them when they stand up and they come to the game. Caden King says, come on, we need this TD. Yeah, I can give them out. We go through the sponsors again while we're sitting here. We got Clayton Holmes and Waycross, Pete's Inn and Waycross, Camping World of Alasta. You go in there and mention Creek Box, you get $500 off your purchase of a camper. Clinch Memorial Pharmacy. Big Daddy's on Highway 84. I know they're packed in there right now. Burt, CPA, Napa, uh, Dre Snack Shack, Huey's, Homerville Jewelers, Dairy Queen of Homerville, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Metal, Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program, 
and the Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed and Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate all them being sponsored. If anybody would love to become a sponsor, if you'll let me, Daniel, Lily, Shady, Katie, Brent, Lexi, Connor, Beth, and Daniel know we can hook you up. Glad to have you. Well, Brent, I didn't see what number was cramping. They got him out the far side. Didn't know if it was number eight. It looks like it's number 20 was cramping for Macon County. Panthers getting fired up there on, on the sideline. All right, here they come. Second down and nine for the Panthers. They're gonna set it up, wing to the right. That's the wide side of the field. Raymond in the backfield along, and they're gonna give it to Raymond up the He's middle. Got, he got five, got hole. six, seven, eight yards right up the middle, Brent. Got to about the two yard line, Ellen. He did. That's going to be a first and goal for the Panthers now. Good blocking by Corbett up front. Just a quick snap. He put it in there. Panthers back to the line. Give it to him again. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Feed behind him. those blockers and yes, sir. push forward. I'd have, might want to put Green in. Yes, sir. There, there goes, goes Brian. Brian. Touchdown. Oh, Brian Raymond. Touchdown, touchdown, Panthers. It'll be a touchdown for Walker Jones. Jones. Baby. That's right. 12 to 7. Panthers finally take the lead. Good blocking in there by the line, Adam. Yes, sir. That was all of them. Corbett, Miranda, Heron, Lee, Cobb, all up front blocking hard. Panthers will go for two now. Brent, 11.07 to play. And Macon has all them weapons on offense. So the Panthers are not going to be allowed to relax any. They're going to go for two here. They're setting up in the wing. Got it set wing to the left. Raymond with the ball. He'll bobble it. He picks it up. Nowhere to go. They're going to get him behind the line. He's fighting. Clawing and got down to about the two. Couldn't get it in, so that'll make it 12 to seven. 11.07 to play. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back in just a minute. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn and Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off. On top. Man, good kick. A great kick by Joshua out of the All back right. of the end zone. There it is. We'll take that. You want to cut that off? <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, no, we ain't got nothing to drink. Golly. Hey, I'm still sipping on this Coke that I got, or this Gatorade I got before the game. All right, Brent, it's time to play defense. Time to play defense. You got the lead. You got to hold them. Bulldogs will be in a spread formation. Three receivers. Harris at quarterback. Panthers in a 3-4, it looks like. There's a snap. They're going to pass it. Harris quick throws it oh. out. Oh, man, Bryant had him. He's going to miss him. That's number 10. He'll get up. 
That's Ricardo Bice for making. That'll pick up a first down. That was just a quick pass, Brent. Yep. It was a little three-yard pass that turned into a 10-yard play. There's Harris again oh. looking. Throws Ooh. it oh, off his hand. Pretty good coverage by the Panthers there. Macon County's come out this possession throwing it at him. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised they were running pretty good yeah. that last drive. Justin Merriweather says, let's go clinch. Watch, watching from Chicago. Chicago. We appreciate you tuning in, brother. Garnett Holtz call. Let's go clinch. Let's get a pick. Great job, Panthers. Touchdown. Somebody text in. All right, here come Harris with the ball. Looking, he's going to throw it out Ooh. here. Good catch. What a throw. Got number Wait, four. four. Look out. He's gone. Adam. He is gone. No, look know, out. Bell. Bell, my God, he did. He got he him got down. Him. Somehow, Bell running down. He spotted him 10 yards. Oh, all the way down to the eight yard line, Brent. Boy, that was a pretty pass and catch. There, that's uh, Stevens, number four, Tyler Stevens with the catch. Boy, he, he put that it on first the money. tackle and he was gone. Yeah. Till Bell came across from the other side of the field. So the ball is setting, what is it, on the eight yard line, Brent? First and goal. Yeah. Harris yeah. in the backfield. They're going to give it up, up the nope. middle. Did he get in? He's got touchdown. touchdown. He yells his hand. Touchdown. Yes. Well, me and you talked about it. We said we was going to need another touchdown anyway, so that makes it 13 to 12. They'll go for two here. We got one Panther down. His helmet come off. Trying to see, and he got another one down now. Two Panthers hurt on that play. Don't know what number's down. 18 is one. 18 is one of them. That is self. self. Not sure, the other one may be small. Mm. Hope not. Well, we'll take a break and we'll be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-235. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. That was small that was shaking up. He's going to walk off the field. Looks like he'll be all right. Macon County's going to go for two. Brent leading 13 to 12. They come right down the field and take the lead back from the Panthers. Harris at quarterback. Gonna he's going to roll to the right. He's got him open in the end zone and got it. That'll make it 15 to 12 now. Wide open in the corner. Call there. <laughs> 15 to 12 now. What a drive. That took four or five plays, man. A big play, that pass play, Brent. Got the Panthers. 15 to 12. We're going to take a break and we'll come back in 30 seconds. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. 
Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homer. All right, everybody, welcome back. 15 to 12, Macon County on top of the Panthers now. 10-23 to play in the game. Rennie's kicked it in the end zone every time he's kicked. Let's see if he'll take another one out. Another high, long yep. kick. Bell will watch it hit the back of the end zone. Got a leg on him. He does, so the Panthers will start on their own 20. Cameron Bryant watching from Atlanta, Allen. All right. Tresman Marshall, roll red roll. That's my man, Tresman. Good luck to you, buddy. Stay healthy. I got to cut that light off. I know we just use this. Glad to hear him, Tresman, tuning in. Yes, sir. Wish him well on the season. He was a pretty good Panther player. Hey. I'd say so. <laughs> yes, sir. Boy, he could light them up. He took care of the Blackhawks out at the rec park one year. <laughs> Probably the only team to ever beat them. Yeah. All right, here come the Panthers. Bale, Bale trying to get outside. Oh. He cuts up. There's a penalty from out in the bleachers over here, it looked like, Brent. Get down, get down. Good hard running. He's Bale still. driving, driving, driving. He'll pick up 20, but we got a flag. I don't know what the flag is. He threw it from way back the field. What's... I don't know what the call was. Let's see. And threw it kind of. Is it a sideline warning? He's pointing back over here at the coaches. Maybe Let's that's what the warning white cat. Yeah, the warning, that's what it'll be. Holding. No holding. Uh, who was holding way back here? I reckon it was, it was a, one of the nervous. backs coming around, I think, blocking. I'm assuming. So that'll be, that'll back him up. Is it a spot? Let's see, they'll spot and mark it off. I don't know. He'll still pick up some yards, won't he? Does it go back from the... Yeah, it'll go back from there. If it goes back from right there where he's at at the 35, it'll go back down to the 25. Let's That's where he's sitting at. 15. It'll be first and five because he picked up 20 yards. Okay. Or he picked up 15 yards. So it's first and five now. So it don't hurt the Panthers too bad. Good hard running. Bell would not go down. Wing to the left. Here they go. They're going to give it up the middle. Running. Is that Raymond or Bryant? Bryant will lean forward. He's going to be close. He's going to be about a yard short. Second a yard now. Macon County got one player limping around. Hope he's all right. You know, you lit feeling that fan. It's blown. Brent made me cut it back on. You Lee 15, Charlton 0. Mm. There's a snap up the middle again. Brian, he jumps over the pile, Man, lowers he his hard. head. He's going to come down to the 40. He is running that thing hard. Macon County is trying to strip the ball every. I'm telling you, man, the Panthers doing a good job holding on to that thing. Bryant's going to come to the sideline. TCC 38, Thomasville 7. Ooh, boy, boy. Ware County 28, Richmond Hill 7. Gators pulling away now. All right, Panthers wing to the left. Clock running, 9-15. Raymond with the ball, sticking it up in there. He's going to pick up a couple, maybe three. It'll be second and seven for the Panthers. 15 to 12. Corbett over the ball. Everybody's wore out now. We're getting late in the fourth quarter. There's another one. They're going to run the counter back to number six, and they hem him up. Mm. Number 12 and number eight again, Brent. They've been there all night, number eight has. 
Number eight, Ray Ray R Mobley. Number 10 is Ricardo Bice. And Amari Shelley, number 12, is another one been in there. Panthers lose a couple of yards. That's going to make more than that. Third and 10 now. Clock is running. Panthers need a big play here. Play clock running down to eight, seven, six. You're going to have to get a timeout here. There's no way about it. You're going to have to get a timeout, and then he will. You hate to use one now, Brent, on a third and ten, but you got to. Well, you were going to back it up That's five right. more yards. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the D. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359. All right, here we go. Big down for the Panthers, third and 10. There's a snap. Bryant looking, going to throw it back. They got him covered oh, underneath, man. couldn't get it to him. Too much pressure on him. Panthers will have to punt it. Got to punt it now. Too much time left. 7.51 to play in the game. Panthers trail 15 to 12. They're backed up on their own 40. Well, now you got to play defense, Brent. Yeah, you do. Well, one touchdown makes it a two possession game. Gavin Day's a long snapper. He does a pretty good job yep. now. He's done a great job. Zaniga will be back to punt. Joshua needs to get Nobody a good one. Back Nobody from... back deep. Oh, the Panthers got him to jump. One more time, they get another first down. Hey, Brent, do you fake it here? Snap <laughs> it to the up back? You know, yeah. you don't need but five yards now. You do have green right there. Mm. Coach Tyson's going, going to think about it. it. They're going to go for it. Mm, Brent. Ooh. Come to offense. Panthers got to have it. You don't get it here. You got a short field. Coach Tyson said my offensive line's been blocking. We're going to block a little bit more. Here we go. We, don't, we got right players. We got one. Wing to the right. Here they go. Everybody's in tight. They got oh, him to jump again. Him. No, no, they said no. Coach Tyson was trying to get him to do it. They're going to snap it anyway and run it. Is that? Coach Tyson, boy, I thought he made contact, but apparently he didn't. Did somebody call timeout then, or did the clock run down? Let's see. Is he saying it's a delay of game? Illegal procedure against the Panthers. Now you'll punt it. Man, I thought they caught him again. That would have been the fourth time. I don't know how he put the brakes on. Here comes 11 new bodies in for making. They're going to rush this one, I'm afraid. Look at all the little ones coming in. That's your speed team. They're coming, Brent. They are coming to block it. There's a snap. They're coming up the middle. Oh, they go. Oh, he got man. it off. How he got it off, I don't know. It's going to hit and roll to the 43-yard line. How he got that off, Brent, I don't know. You were it right on that. They it looked like up. the floodgates had opened up in the middle. Yeah, when you see them little linemen coming in, brother, they coming. They ain't coming in to block nobody. Yeah, we didn't get but about, a, what, 15 10, yards? 10, 15 yards. 
Panthers. But at least punt wasn't blocked. No, that's right. It could have been a mess. This is it. Panthers defense right. have to hold them here. Panthers have never won in Montezuma. And they're trailing 15 to 12 now. Landon Delk says, let's go Panthers from Homerville. All right. Fabian R Brinson watching. Fabian, he's a good little ball player for the Panthers back in the day. I like mm. old Fabian. All right, here they go. They still passing it. They want more points. Brent, oh, there he is, wide open. Down the sideline and push that abound. Macon County said, we ain't done. We, they, they need another score. All the way down to the Panther. Let's see where he spots the ball. 30. 30 yard line, it looks like, Brent. That was about a, what's that? 10, 20, 30 yard gain. Snap, Harris, he's gonna hand it off to the feature up the middle. Seven, eight yards right up the middle. Mary Michael and Lily and Chase watching from Thomas Road in Clinch County. All right. And appreciate what old Lily and Shady Katie's been doing for Creek Box. In it go. Second down now. Oh. You're going to hand it off. Good job by the defense there. <laughs> no game. That's number five again, Brent. That's Blaze Small. Good lick with Green backing him up. Good job by the defense. Third down and about two. I think this is four down territory for making six minutes, 30 seconds, clock running. They're going to give it to the man up the middle. He's got the first, got cutting and weaving through the secondary. All the way down to the five yard line of the Panthers. Making County seems to be yeah, they got getting yards at will right now. They got the second win. They're moving yeah. the ball now. First and goal for the Bulldogs. Looks over at the receiver. He's looking. This could be a throw to the end zone. He's going to pull it. No, he hands it to him outside. Touchdown. Did he get in? No, I don't think he did. Boy, he's going to be about an inch short of the goal line. Second and goal. Couple of scores. Fitzgerald 43, Turner 12, Blackley 34, Wilcox 13, mm. Cockwood 31, Stockbridge 14, mm. Irwin 21, Dooley 12. My fixture have got a team now. 5.34, clock running, nine seconds. I think they're going to get a timeout here, Brent. Looks like they'll never get this playoff. Their coach will run out and call a timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food, including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken, and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, everybody, we're back here. 525 to play in the game. It is second and goal. They're all the way down on the one inside the one yard line. Alan Garnett, Colts Gall, wants to give out a sh shout out to his son, water boy, Simon Guy. Man, doing a great job keeping them Panthers fresh on the sideline. 
Here come the Bulldogs. He's under center. It's going to be a oh, sneak. He didn't get in. Good job by the Panther. D no, now they said he got in. Wow. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I didn't think he got in, but we ain't on the field. 21-12 now. The Bulldogs starting to bark. Yeah, see, they're up now. They can kick the extra point here, I'm sure. That'll put them up by nine. Well, they're up by nine now. That'll put them up by 10. 21, 12, 5, 25 to play in the fourth. There's a snap. He'll put it down. Good rush by the Panthers, but it's right down the middle. 22 to 12. The Bulldogs starting to bark. We'll be back in just a second. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. We look forward to seeing you. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. Macon County leading 22-12 in the fourth. There's a deep kick, and that's going to go out the back of the end zone again. So the Panthers will start on their own 20. Brent, we've been in the single wing. Now we need some points. What are we going to do? Looks like we're going to probably have to pass the ball. You now, got Adam. to a little bit, I think, yep. man. You can't get. Clock's Panthers have moved side. the ball good all night, getting three and four yards, but yep. they just, you know, time's not on their side. Got to score quick. Two possession game. So I'm sure they've got to go no huddle and got to get in and get the playoff and get some yardage. They break the huddle, they're in the wing. Single wing to the left, they're gonna take the snap. He's gonna throw it. Oh, oh man. man, if he would've put a little under it, boy. Look in the middle of the field, yeah. number 18 again. Uh. You're right, a little more air under that one. Yeah, that was six. Yeah, he would've caught it in stride. He could've just got it up a little bit. That'll be second and 10, that'll stop the clock. 519 to play. That looked like a little wheel route there, yeah, Brent. There come the Panthers. They're going to roll to the left. Even they string it out. Good job by the Bulldogs. That's work all night in the first half. The Bulldogs made some adjustments, man. They've done a good job here in the second half to keep Bell hemmed up from getting outside. I think he might have lost a yard or two, Brent. It's going to be third down and 12. 12. Clock is running, 450, 449. Third and 12, you got to get some kind of yards here so you can think about going for it. There's the snap. They're looking, coming around this He's end. Got, over end. got a little bit of room. Will he get it? He's going to be close. You got to go for it. It's going to be fourth down and about two That's or three. six, blank. Yeah, Panthers. yeah. Yep, Zalen Blank. Good run there by Blank. Almost got it. He's going to be three yards short. Panthers are going for it. You got to. Clock running. Nothing on your side. Panthers snap it up the middle. He's going to get it. Good move. He got the first, boy. Got flag, it. Flag, Allen. What is the flag on now? 
going to be holding. Usually that's what it is when the line judge throws it. They'll back it up. He had the first down. Kevin got Logan Morrison. Shout out. Give her a shout out. All, All right. right. We that appreciate was, that. That was on Macon County. Flag. Man, that was a 15-yard penalty. That must have been a chop block or something below the waist, Brent. Boy, the Panthers could use that. Here they go. Right at the 50-yard line. Come on. Clock running. You got to get down. Wing to the left. They're going to run it right up the middle to Bryant. He's going to pick up two, maybe three yards. Clock running, 345. Got to spot the ball. The referee got to spot it. 335 now. Bryant's carried the ball a lot tonight, Ellen. He has. Run hard. 325 now. Wing to the left. Snap. They're going to run it up the middle to Bell. Bell's got it. First down, it's going to be close. See where they spot the ball. Maybe it'll stop the clock. I think he's going to be short. He is. Come on, you got to go. 313, 312, 311, clock running. Second one. Snap. They're going to roll out into the left. Bella, cut oh, up. Man. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. He grabbed him by the helmet. Got to get up. Go back to the line. Mm, he's going to lose a yard. You got to go. Clock running. 245. Panthers stay in a wing. They're going to give it to James up the middle. He's got the first down. He'll run over one. He'll lean forward and get a couple of more. That'll stop the clock. That's Raymond. You got to be on the line of scrimmage. Go Panthers, let's go, get on the line. 228, they're fixing to start it. 24, wing to the left. Snap, oh, Raymond's gonna lose it again. He'll fall on it, he'll lose seven, eight yards. Clock to run, Allen. 206, 205. Panthers got a couple of timeouts. I don't know what they're going to do. Let's see. They're going to let it. They're going to have to use it. You got the score to get onside kick. 150 to play in the game now. Clock running. Panthers stay in a wing. Wing to the left. There's the snap. They're going to run that sweep again to the left. Bell stretches out in there, giving it all he's got. He'll pick up seven, eight yards. It's going to be a third down and about eight. Clock is still running. One minute and 30 seconds to play. Bell running hard. You got to go. Let's go. 122 to play. They're going to snap it to oh, Bell. He's going to oh. throw it. He's going to throw it down there. Two men on him. He throws it deep. Almost intercepted it. In and out of his hands with 108 to play in the game. All right, here we go. 108 to play. Fourth down. Fourth and about eight for the Panthers. They're going to run it right up the middle this time. Brian, he got He's the got first down. He got one to miss. Oh, man. All the way down to the 10-yard line. The clock will stop. Hustle up there. Get on the line. Good running by Bryant. He's got to be over, over 100, 150 yeah. yards tonight. 
Brian again up the middle, blocking up the middle. He's down inside the five, down to the three. Clock Time is out. running. Timeout now. They'll call with 51 seconds to play. Well, Brent, if we get a score here, they can try an onside kick. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. The certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive. All right, everybody, we're back. Panthers trail 22 to 12. They're all the way down there knocking on the door again. They've been, they've had their chances tonight, Brent. Yeah, the Panthers have fought hard. Uh, had a couple of costly mistakes, but they're driving, trying to. They're not an quitting. Opportunity That's to right. Do an onside kick and get it back. They're not going to quit. Bale, nowhere to go. He's going to bail his shoulder. Oh, got in there. He's Good in. job by Bale. Wow. I don't make it 22 to 18. Looks a lot better on the scoreboard. I'm sure the Panthers will go for tail. Bale was stopped behind the line, and he got through him. Nah, it looks like Joshua's coming out to try the extra point. Make it a three. And that'll make point. it a three-point game. Good blocking yeah, well, by the Panther Bale line. Was hemmed up right there, and he just kind of ran through the I'm telling defender you. and kept going. He runs hard now. All right, Joshua's going to try another kick. Snap, put down. It's down the middle. Good. 22 to 19 now. Extra point by Cornelius Farms. Yeah, by Cornelius Farms. And with a touchdown by Walker Jones. We've got to get that out there. Well, Brent, you look back. Two field goals. The Panthers would be up 25-22 right now. Yep. And then at least one more touchdown. The score would be 31 to 22. So the Panthers have had their had chances, chances just. That's right. Not to take nothing away right. from Macon, because Macon got a great football they do team. They have a fine football team. And, uh, you know, these two teams will see each other, could see each other again on down the road. That's right. Of course, uh, the Panthers can get this onside kick. We might come out of here with a win. And make a game out of it. Macon County is over here with Dooley. I think the game will be between Macon and Manchester for the region championship. Manchester beat Bowden last week yeah, by one point, yeah. I believe. They have got a great team. Sly County has got a great team. Yeah. They're up near that same area. Yep. Well, we're going to see some special teams here now. Joshua's going to try to put it. You see the hands team in. There's no linemen in the game for Macon County. All skill players. I'd say he's going to kick it over here to the left, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. It's going to take a look out. It go, Man. Panthers, I thought he had a chance. A great job that there was. by number six yep. for Macon County. Man, he played good all night. Thought that last bounce was going to take it. Ah, I did. Of there. Boy, he could have, number one could have took it to the house. Ooh. That was Fielder with the play. That should do it. Panthers do have three timeouts, it says on the scoreboard now. I think they got two. two. Uh, 22 19, 41.9 seconds to play. I want to remind everybody, me and Brent will be at the Rick Park Monday at 6 o'clock for some girls. 
softball, and it's going to be a great one between the Lady Dogs from Lanier County against the Clinch County Lady Panthers at the middle school. Two really good teams going at it. All right, he's going to take it, looking, rolling around, and he'll take a knee. That's Harris. Panthers will stop the clock. He'll lose five, six, seven yards. It'd be nice if the Panthers had three timeouts, but I don't think it'd be enough even with three, Brent. Let's see. Uh, one more timeout. One more 25 time out. seconds play clock. You might get yeah. 10 seconds. Possibly. Might, might have to punt it on might fourth down. I wouldn't punt it. Would you? No. I would take a safety, safety. and win by one point. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say run to the locker room out the back of the end zone. And next Friday night, me and Brent will travel to Miller County. Cockwood, Georgia. Cockwood, Georgia. City of Cockwood. Over there to the Pirates of Miller County. Always play tough. All right, here come them dogs back out on the field. Second and 16. They got one deep behind the quarterback. He ain't going to take no chances. Ow, oh, the Panthers jump off sides. <laughs> Number 71 is tickled to death about that. So he'll get that loss back, almost back to the original line of scrimmage. All right, there's the snap, and he'll take a knee. Clock is running. The Panthers, let's see, it's running. Might not all, might they might not have, have another timeout, Brent. I don't think the Panthers but do. That's going to do it, I'm sure. It. So... The Panthers travel to Montezuma, and man, fought hard, but it's going to come up short once again. Uh, Lady Luck won't shine on them tonight. But what a game. Bring it with a great game. Two good teams playing, two top ten teams. That's right. Panthers will fall a little bit in the pole, and Macon County will come up. Before we get out of here, I need to give a shout-out to our sponsors. We have Clayton Homes in Waycross, Pizza Inn in Waycross, Camping World of Alasta, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Burt CPA, Napa, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Dre's Snack Shack, Huey's, Homerville Jewelers, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen of Homerville, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Meadow, Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program and the Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed. Man, we appreciate them being sponsors. If anybody, if anybody else would love to become a sponsor, if you'll let Lily, me, Katie, Lexi, Daniel, Connor, anybody know, we'd love to add you to the Creek Box family. Well, Brent, what you think, brother? Well, uh, good competitive game tonight. Took it a little bit on the chin, but we'll look to rebound next week in Miller County. There you go. As our captain, Mr. Barry and Sutton, used to say, y'all please tell someone about Jesus. God bless you, and we'll see you Monday.